YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to 60 Seconds. This is a super interesting game where you have to survive the apocalypse. The premise is very simple. There's an atomic bomb coming for your city and you have 60 seconds to try and grab as many supplies as possible, throw them in a the bunker and then dive in there before the blasts hit you. And then you have to survive for months on end trying to find a way to escape while obviously not dying in the process. And in this video, you're going to see my first time ever playing this game, trying to survive the apocalypse. And we did so much better than I expected. I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Oh, hello there. Uh, do I pick up stuff already? I can't. Oh, God. What? Oh, my God. You're so annoying. Why are you playing the, t the tuba? Okay, I'm picking up stuff. Pick up the gun. Oh, God. We only got 60 seconds. Just throw it in there. Boom. Pick up some water. We need a lot of water. Why are you... Oh, I got a harmonica. That's going to keep us sane. Grab that. I think there's even food back here. There is even food back here. Okay, we got no time. We need to grab some friends as well. Or family members. Uh, pick up family members. Here. Come with me. Come with me. You're... I can't grab you. You're no room. What do you mean no room? I'm picking up literally random stuff. All right. The tuba lady is probably going to die. I'm sorry, but you're too fucking annoying. Uh, there's, there's a child. Child, come with me. Map seems good. And then grab some water. Oh, God. I would like... I should grab a radio as well, right? It told me to grab the radio. Radio, radio. What is this? Gas mask. That seems good. Radio. Uh, some water. I think the lady is dead. I'm sorry, lady. Not, not, not everyone can be saved. Maybe you can be saved. Can I... I probably should go. Goodbye, lady. You're fucked. <laughs> That's already one down. Goodbye. <laughs> Did I not get food? I thought I got some food. Sorry, it was chaos, okay? There was a nuclear armed missile coming for my exact location. Okay, day one, here we go. Oh no, what have I gotten myself into? All right, we got a million water and two food. Okay, maybe, I mean, we need a lot of water to survive, right? Maybe we got it good. Maybe this is a good idea. I also have some keys. I got a gas mask, a gun, a radio, a flashlight, and a Boy Scout guide of some sorts. Also, my camera is fucked up. Okay, we already missing one person though. Uh, rest in peace. You were too annoying with the damn tuba. Uh, day one. Almost all of us made it to the shelter. Almost. All we can do now is start thinking or creative ways to serve our canned soup. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. We got a Boy Scout guide. Okay. We don't have that much food. No one's complaining yet. But even canned soup might become an extravagant dish quite soon. Okay, let's see. We got time to ration supplies. We don't need to eat on the first day. Come on. We don't have a backpack. Should we go outside? Unavailable. Okay. Uh, we've been busy since we got to, the got to the shelter, but there is still much to be done. Like trimming the shrubbery in our yard. That's definitely something we want to do when we get out of here. I don't think you should worry about that right now. All right. No one's going to eat today because it's our first day. We're going to eat on the adrenaline, right? I should have really got more food, man. I'm fucked. Uh, go. I clicked the go button. Can we play the harmonica? Oh, day two already. We survived. Let's go. <laughs> Can we go harvest some food? Can we go out there? Maybe put on the gas mask? Planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now, we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Today's been fine for now. For Dolores thus far, Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Okay, so everyone's fine. So no food for you guys. <laughs> It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Um, Ted is vigorous enough to withstand. Okay, we're not going to send anyone out there today. Dolores is confident she will survive outside. Timmy seems quite enthusiastic about the trip. Should we start preparing an expedition? Let's do it like tomorrow or in two days. Uh, what should we do? Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly everyone's farting dude there isn't much we can miss so when a single brick fell out from the wall revealing a tight opening our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench we should probably check that hole out and see what the source of that smell is sure it's gonna be a corpse in your house sure check it out what do we this is gonna be bad break or use something in your fallout shelter i got an achievement for that uh, what did that do? What happened there? Day three. What? I lose my radio? We approached the hole cautiously and peeked in sight. What happened next nearly gave us a heart attack. Some crazed rodent or reptile or whatever. 
this crazy mad creature was it leaped out and started jumping all over the damn shelter it was everywhere we wouldn't couldn't catch it before we could do anything it pushed our radio off the table and wreck it went back into the hole it crawled from we never saw it again this game is hardcore we got wrecked <laughs> if ted doesn't drink anything he won't last long dolores has to drink sometimes okay some water for timmy would be nice all right everyone wants water so you guys get water everyone get some water oh that is actually i thought it would just be one full bottle dude i got so screwed over there all right uh it's time to get another radio timmy go out there <laughs> it's your task timmy can do it timmy can go to the wasteland i mean he's got young legs my grandpa would say if there's one sure way to get our attention it's definitely banging on our shelter door wait what whoever it is they're quite persistent they've been at it for the past five minutes should we open no that's a terrible idea we last thing we did was literally check out a little brick and it destroyed my radio i'm not gonna be an idiot and open the door for some random person banging for five minutes day four all right we're already four days into this we're insane can i play like <laughs> i can <laughs> rifle hey maybe the gun will help I mean, probably if we got bullets. The banging stopped after a while and whoever was behind that door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? Ted is no... Okay, so no one is thirsty anymore. Let's go. Time to ration supplies. Uh, they look fine, so I'm not going to give you any food. What is it like? You can survive with without food for like seven days. So you're only going to get food once every seven days. <laughs> it's about time we choose someone to scavenge the remains of our town in search of supplies. Who will it be? The wasteland awaits. All right, Timmy, it's your task. Can you take the gas mask? Ah, I can tell you to take the gas mask. Maybe I should give Timmy some food if he's about to go out, right? <laughs> That's probably a good idea. The music is so epic. I'm gonna give Timmy some food because he's, you know what, food and water. You're gonna get super spoiled today because you're about to die. This is your final meal. All right, here you go, Timmy. It's your time. <laughs> Last meal. Oh, survive five days in your fallout shelter. Dude, we're going insane. Okay. Uh, There's an open can. Food supply can 1 and 75. Oh, we're fucked. Someone has drawn on the wall. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Equipment, gas mask. That'll be fine, right? This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. Uh, everyone still looks fine. They haven't eaten in five days. <laughs> Dude, they're insane. As we're considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. I t it turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in a pretty bad shape. All they wanted was to get something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least clean bandages and medicine to attend to their wounded. I'm sorry, we don't... I mean, we got water, but not... We don't... can give you food, but we got... How much water do we have? We still have five bottles of water. I mean, maybe some friends out there will help us. So I'm gonna get... Shoot the... <laughs> And we, I cannot give you food because we got barely anything, but I will give you some water. Day six. <laughs> Let them die. Who cares? Uh, day six. Our, our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed. Smiles and hugs exchanged. We're sick now. And they wished us all the best. It's a great feeling to be helping someone out. They left soon after to seek shelter in the ruins of our town. We hope they made it out there. Ted is really thirsty. Okay, we need water. Everyone needs water, so you'll get water. I'm glad we don't have this person because we will be fucked. Because <laughs> we're already out of food, basically. Uh, Derek goes again. Noises. Weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes? Walls? Is it something behind the door? We don't know and it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax. Otherwise, we might get paranoid. Ah, fuck. Can we not play the harmonica? We don't have this. I didn't know we were gonna need this. Okay. Well, time to go insane. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, we're already surviving a week, though. Dude, I love that the... The beard is still like barely grown. This is like a one day beard right there. Day seven, boredom can really get to you in the shelter. It can lead you to dark places. Trust us. They're no longer thirsty, but you are hungry. Okay. 
I mean, we, they haven't eaten at all since they got here, right? So I guess they should eat one in one time in every seven days. Sure, there you go. You get some food. We're so fucked. <laughs> the problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, oh, come on, man. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here and doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple of days. How about we do something to fix it? We don't have bug spray. Why would bug spray help you? We don't have the gas mask. Well, how would the gas mask help you smell better? Oh, right, because you then can cover up the smell with the gas mask. Is that what's going on? Ammunition? You're going to shoot someone to make it smell better? I don't understand. What are these options? Am I stupid? <laughs> we don't have anything, so whatever. <laughs> hey, Thorla, what's up? We're getting a phone call? Oh, no, you're sick. Wait. Well, how did you guys get sick? We're fucked, dude. The world has ended. Who cares about showering? We can get used to it. Okay, for next time, let's let's. So obviously we are failing. So we have to think about what we've done here. We only need like three water and three food, and we need some more supplies. We need to not break the radio right away because they didn't didn't shower. They got sick. What the hell? I mean, I guess um, we can get used to it. Adapting should be hard. Shouldn't be hard. It will be like a camping trip. It will. Oh, no. The smell is just terrible. Don't puke. Don't. Suspicious looking stains cover parts of the page. Ted is no longer hungry. Ted got sick. So they're both sick. So they're going to die because now they need more food. We don't have medical supplies. If Timmy can come back with some stuff that would really help us out right now. I could also give you guys food to make you like stronger to fight off the sickness. But I'm sorry. You're going to just die. We didn't expect to get a phone call. Oh, so there was a phone call. So soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it, you're going out there. You know what? In that case, if we're going to lose another person, I'm just going to give you some food to be stronger because we're just going to be one person. What is this? Or what is next? Make contact. Oh, what? Make contact with other wastelanders. Didn't we already do that? I'm sending you out there. Go. Didn't I do it? I said I tried to send someone out there. I'm I'm assuming that's what I did. Wait, you're back? Did I not click? Did it delete the option after I went to a different page? Is that what happened? I'm confused. Um, hello Timmy, you're hungry and you're tired. Uh, when we answered the phone, okay, so we did do it. We could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors. So we got the gas mask back, by the way from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us soon. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe. He is the most healthy out of all of us. He went out into the atomic radiation and he's healthier than the people that stayed in the bunker. How does that work? We've been discussing selling our house and moving someplace else, but in truth, we didn't exactly picture things as they- Oh, he got two food, he's insane. Picture things as they turned out. We missed the old place. It was only natural that we decided to take a look and see if any of it was still standing. The only recognizable furniture in the kids' room were burned desks and Mary Jane's bed. Rip, Mary Jane. There was a hidden stash under the bed. It was full of soup cans. Oh, wait, we got this without Timmy. Or did Timmy do this? The muddy swamp, which used to be our toilet is now home to something that remotely resembles a mutated turtle. After exchanging a few pleasantries, and gave us anti-bug spray and wished us all the best of luck. Let's go. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. Dolores' health has not improved. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. Okay. So Timmy is very hungry and really tired. Uh, is there more? Okay, let's see. So we will give you... What, what did you need? You needed something. You needed, like, water. So water for you. Ted is slowly recovering. T Timmy is fucked. Oh, he's hungry. Not th thirsty, though. So we're going to give Timmy... Uh, food. I'm gonna give you water. You've already eaten, like, two days in a row, so your ass better be healthy next day. Should we go outside, Timmy? It's time to go back out there. <laughs> Maybe we'll send Dolores out? No, she's gonna die, dude. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. Alright, I'm shooting it. Get shot. Are we gonna kill someone by accident here? Jelly, thank you for the five gifts. Oh, we we survived ten days. Look at us. It, what what happened? I should I tried to send someone out there, right? 
Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food food chain. Good for us. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. What do you mean something? I can't do anything. We can't just sit around while Dolores is so sick. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Okay. Timmy should eat something again. Timmy needs to rest a bit longer. Oh, he needs to rest. Well, how about getting something, Timmy something to drink? Okay, so who, who needs what? So you are no longer thirsty. We should do something about your sickness, but I don't know what it is. You're still hungry? Timmy is still hungry, dude. What the fuck? And you need to drink. Dude, you already ate like twice. I mean, I guess he got some food, so it's fine. Um, we sh Should we even go out there? We're so dead. I don't think we should. Now that now, I, I wanted to send Timmy back out there because he was the only... We could send her out there. Sure. Why? What could go wrong when she's sick and dying? She's never going to come back, dude. I'll even give her the gas mask. That's how much I believe in you. <laughs> oh, God. Get supplies? I know. Oh, we got the giant can of bug spray, by the way. Bug spray? Don't spray that around. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Ted is still sick. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he will die. Okay. Timmy keeps falling asleep in his chair. He needs a few days to rest. Timmy, you lazy bastard. You've been sleeping for the remaining three days. How much rest do you need? Okay, you need to... What now? You need to drink. All right, they, that's food. You're not getting food. Uh, hear that noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner. <laughs> There's been a manhole in the corner this whole time. The one that's been locked tight ever since we got to the shelter. I mean, we got a flashlight. Might as well. Let's go. Timmy, did I not give Timmy food? Oh. What? He got hurt or something. What happened to you, Timmy? What the hell? We barely made it out alive. It was a giant mutated crocodile or an alligator. Dude, this game is fucked up. Every time I do anything, it's just like, ha, you thought you were going to do something good? Actually, fuck you. And then you get screwed over. <laughs> or an alligator or something else with a giant mouth and plenty of teeth. Is anyone hurt? Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Ted is no longer thirsty. Timmy needs to eat again. Timmy keeps falling asleep. Okay, Timmy got hurt. God damn it. All right, Timmy, you need to eat again. You've already eaten away all the supplies you got us, man. Okay, you suck. You don't need to drink, right? Ted is no longer thirsty. Okay, everyone's fine. Timmy got back to the shelter from his expedition and looked fine, but it turned out he had hurt his hand on a piece of rusty metal and the wound was infected. It doesn't look like it's healing up. We have to patch it. We can chop off his- I, I want to get the axe. Wait, next time. I want to get the axe and chop off some limbs. I want to see what that looks like. All right, goodbye, Timmy. You're fucked. What's next? Await for further instruction from friendly wastelanders. Oh, we're actually doing something. We're going towards some kind of ending? I'm sorry, Timmy, but you're not long for this world. Day 13, though. Look at this. We can cut off his limb with the gun, right? Just shoot it hard enough? Do it the American way. Day 13, the best medicine for any sickness or injury is to cleanse your teeth and ignore it. Exactly. That's what our grandma always said. Of course, she's dead now and she has been for a while ever since she got that nasty frog bite at the age of 25. Ted keeps coughing and coughing. It's high time we did something about Timmy's injuries. Timmy still hasn't rested. Do I need to tell Timmy the rest? How does he not rest? He's been here for six days doing nothing. DCB, thank you for the five gifts. Thank you. Timmy's no longer thirsty. Do I have to click on his face to make him sleep? Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. Okay. So I'm going to do something insane and I'm going to give you food and give you water. Because I want you to heal back up from food, right? From getting some energy. Timmy is not doing great. It would be good to talk to him and cheer him up. Sure. Why would I not do it? That seems monstrous. I got a knock on the door. Uh-oh. Smack him with the flashlight. Oh, he is so fucked. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. I am out of options, man. I got nothing. Timmy's words aren't getting any be- Wounds aren't getting any better. Timmy needs to rest a bit longer. Dude, Timmy is a little bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do I have to- Oh, no, it gives you- Oh, I can hover over them to see what they want. Okay. So you're sick. Can you just be better? I'm giving you food again. You better get better, man. 
Keep on giving him water? Sure, I'll give him some water. Dude, these people suck. Today we've met a bunch of people dressed in what look like Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital. Moving... Wait, this is good. Moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. The problem is some of their supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. They're asking us if we got any... Sp yes! Hydrogen. Okay, there you go. You'll get this so then you can heal one of us. Because otherwise we're dead. If, if no one gets better. I heard coughing. Oh no, he's sick too, dude. He's fucked. A bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we will ever get to hydrogen peroxide. The guests were grateful anyway. Ted is still sick. Timmy's wounds aren't getting any better. Timmy keeps falling asleep in his chair. He needs a few days to rest. Is it just repeating this message over and over again? What am I supposed to do about this? Just fucking sleep, man. Timmy isn't feeling very well. Is he gonna, he's gonna disappear Thanos style, man. We are out of water. It's over. It's all ogre. As long as we have, no, the radio. <laughs> I wish I still had that, but it got destroyed by a mutated rat on day one, man. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to a well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. No! <laughs> It's making a brr, brr sound when I click that. All right, we're screwed. It's ogre. We're not going to drink our final water. I shouldn't have given them water. I made a grave mistake. I was hoping you would give us medicine, but instead you just said, fuck you. What did I give and get back? Wait, maybe. Oh, wait, she got healed. Wait, we got all healed. Everyone got recovered, bro. And we got a million food. We just need water now. Can we trade? Wait, that was sick. Dude, what a play. She's back and healthy. She came back at the perfect time to get healed by the event from the... Wait, 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 wait. If there's one thing we need to do, it is to use a radio on a regular basis to catch... Wait, we also got the radio back! To catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted. Wait, did I just click it long enough for the game to be like, all right, here you go? In our area, it's either that or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Where to go for supplies? What a silly question. To the store, of course. We decided that bombs don't matter that much and our favorite store... Wait. Our favorite store should be our number one stop for groceries. We found it, or at least what was left of it. Most food on the shelves was outdated and rotten. A lot of eggs were smashed on the floor. Guess what? Soup cans don't expire until 2015, baby. Good for us. We got four food, but no water. The store counter was very dirty. Thanks to some previously used chewing gum and smokes. On the other side, we found a radio playing strange and ex exotic European music. <laughs> Those strange and exotic Europeans. What the hell, man? This last expedition got us thinking, maybe we could just drive away from this nightmare somehow. Of course, most of the automobiles available are completely burned out. But if we find some, find a solid base and scavenge enough parts, perhaps we could build a vehicle of our own. We'd better keep an eye out for those on future expeditions. Ted hasn't recovered yet from his illness. No, he has. We haven't done anything about Dolores' sickness. Yes, we have. Dolores would really love to eat something. Okay, you're going to be tired now as well. Timmy's looking very pale. Uh, you are behind on the facts, man. Wait, what happened? How what, they look? They look good. Yeah, you're just tired. You're fine. You're not sick at all. What are you talking about? Wait, what? Okay, what, what were you? You were hungry, right? Hungry food. You don't even do anything. You're hungry food. We got more than enough food to go around. I mean, I could even give it to Ted, but he's fine right now. You have only one water, man. This is terrible. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. Ted seems to be in a really good shape for a trip. Dolores is too exhausted. I mean, we gotta send someone out there. We have to, otherwise we d die. <laughs> like, cause we need water. So I'm sorry, Ted, but you're going out there. We almost forgot about this. What? How did everyone get better? I'm so confused. We almost forgot about this one time. We shared some water with a group of people dressed in lab coats. Out of the blue, they came back today and administered us some very healthy looking shots. So we were 
So they were real doctors after all, we think. That is insanely lucky that Dolores came back on this exact day to get us all healed from the one event. I mean, we gave up a full water, but that's definitely worth it, man. That was so lucky. What the fuck? Okay, so we have more than enough food. I mean, it's soup, right? Does it not have water in there a little bit at least? Okay, well, that's good. Await for further instructions. Okay. Avo acquire radio. So now we have a radio. Let's go. Okay. So we're sending someone out there. So the doctors ha healed me. Yeah. That's sick. Uh, your hair is looking insane, man. <laughs> Dude, beautiful. <laughs> Ted, what a haircut, man. Day 17. Dolores would really love to eat something. Dolores needs more time to rest. She seems exhausted, okay? Dolores was cured from her illness. There has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. Oh, no. Oh, no. He is also hot. He is thirsty. Timmy was cur cured. Okay, they're all, like, healed and stuff. Okay, that's amazing. Time to ration supplies. You're thirsty and tired. You're thirsty, hungry, and tired. You're just thirsty. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna send you out there. Or... Ah, shit. I'll give everyone food at least. We need someone to stay in here while being... So we're gonna f feed Timmy our last water. We can't give it to Ted. I'm sorry, Ted. You're going out there without water. You'll find some shit, right? You'll be fine. This is a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, get some fresh toxic air, maybe scavenge a thing or two. We sure could use some extra supplies if that's if we want to survive. All right, Ted, you're going with a gas mask. Oh, I can give you different things. Interesting. Wait a minute. I mean, wait. We could give him the map so we can find something, but, and then we keep the gas mask to do something. I, you honestly, Ted, you're going out there. We could give him- Can we give him the gun as well? We can give him the gun. He can shoot something, but then we get more food. We don't need that. I'm gonna give him the map so he can find some water. Hopefully. He'll get sick without the mask. He will be dead without water, so... Fuck it. <laughs> we ball. <laughs> Maybe he can do something about the horrendous haircut. Okay. Um... We are fucked. T Timmy looks okay, though. Ted left for the service. We hope we'll be back soon. Equipment, map. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Okay. You're no longer thirsty. D Dolores will not survive without water much longer. I'm sorry. Why? It's soup, man. Soup. I mean, I guess you put water in the soup. Dehydration, tired, hungry. I'm not even going to waste food on you. You're just dead. <laughs> Probably. Can we send her out there? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's happening here? Was there any more? There's more lore? Wait, wait, wait. Today we found a letter from what seems to be other survivors. Don't give Timmy food. Doesn't he need food? Oh, no, he doesn't need food. Sorry, I thought he needed it. Today we found a letter from what seems to be other survivors. They claim to mean us no harm and want to get to know us better. They're asking to choose one person to represent us and come to a meeting tonight. Un unarmed. We're a bit worried, but they could be friendly. Should we go? I'm going to send you because you're dead anyway, so you might be useful to us by sending you. <laughs> Are we good? I mean, I guess if you're going out there, might as well go without food. <laughs> She's dead, man. <laughs> it's a trap. I don't care. At least you'll go quickly instead of be like, I don't know, starving to death slowly. Okay. Send someone to meet with the... Oh, maybe that is what we got to do. All right, here we go. No food for her. We got so much food. It's fine. We just need water. Wait, she's back. Wait, did I not send her? The meeting was organized by twin siblings, a brother and a sister, who took it upon themselves to scout the remains of the city, looking for trustworthy and decent people. They seemed honest about their intention and were more than happy to meet them again. They said they know where to find us, and they're going to contact us if they need some help. The Lores will not survive without water. Ah, oh, rip. She needs time to rest. She's no longer hungry. Okay, she- wait, it was probably more there. Um, Timmy is good, well, at least for five minutes ago. Okay. So you're- Dehydrated. You're dead. DCB, thank you for the thing. Gives us. Thank you. You're totally fine. Okay, she's dying. It's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions, or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So, uh, how about tuning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Definitely. Okay, I mean, she's dead. What am I gonna do? Nothing. There's nothing I can do. 
<laughs> There's nothing I can do. He's gonna become a skeleton. Oh my god! I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't think that would actually happen. She's fucking dead. <laughs> Rip. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency. And I love that Dimmy is not phased at all. He's just like, ooh. <laughs> the fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be safer to travel on the surface now. Okay. If we only had a few drops of water, we could avoid it. What happened? Dolores died of dehydration last night. Oh, no. How about getting something, Timmy something to drink? No, not you too, Timmy. Can Ted just come back, please? Oh no, Timmy. The other day we heard a quiet knock on our door, but we, when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but sh it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? If it's water, it'll save my damn life. I'm opening the suitcase. It's gonna be a bomb, dude. Oh, come on. There was some anthrax in there or something. <laughs> He's sick now. Inside the suitcase, we found some soup, but yuck, it expired a long time ago. Didn't you read the damn label, you dumbass? We're not feeling very well. Some of us spend the whole morning using the bucket in the corner. We're not accepting anonymous gifts ever again. Timmy is in terrible shape. We need... No, he got even more dehydrated from diarrhea. Why did you eat that? You idiot. We have so much food. Oh, uh, no. He's dead. It's Ogre, man. On our way back from the last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's someone, someone's secret stash of soup. Should we go and check? Yes, I'm sending you out there, because it's Jover if you stay here, so goodbye. <laughs> no one's going to be here. How does that work? Wait. Oh, you got cards. You also draw something real weird on the wall there. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay. This treasure hunt actually turned out to be fun, despite taking place in a radi radioactive dump that is our town. More importantly, though, it was a su it, it was successful, and we managed to find a small package. Whatever is in it will definitely prove useful. If only it was water, man. Ty Timmy is in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. He's dead. Timmy needs an extra blanket. He's shivering all the time. It's it's ogre. I'm giving you your last meal. Goodbye, Timmy. We can't keep. Oh, maybe maybe we use the radio. We can't keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start, or we can, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own, the escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. I really hope the next day Ted's gonna be back with water, but then Timmy is gonna be dead, so. He'll just return to an <laughs> absolute massacre here. Oh, uh, God. All right. Use the radio. Here we go. Rib Timmy. I got an achievement, though. Oh! <laughs> he is back, at least! Where did Timmy go? He's gone. What the? We got water! We got two water! We're alive, baby! We knew it! The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us! They didn't give exact dates on their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. On the edge of town, there used to be a big parking lot. Now it is more like a junkyard. Most vehicles are completely wrecked or burned down. We figured it was still worth checking out. Under the burnt remains of a picnic table, we found some bottled water. Those bottles were not in the best state, but their contents looked perfectly drinkable. It seems like the bomb interrupted someone's picnic. Thankfully, there were big fans, big cans of tomato soup and the indestructible cans. Oh, they were big fans of tomato soup and the indestruct indestructible cans were scattered all around the parking lots. Okay, or parking lot. Okay, we got two water and two food, which is insane. A little trip to the surface might have... Wait. A little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. We window shopped nearby parking lots for a vehicle that wasn't completely burned out. Unfortunately, we found nothing of value. Maybe future expeditions will be more lucky. That is hungry, really tired, pretty fatigued. Isn't that the same thing? Uh, lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. 
He went sicko mode, dude. Okay, are you... You're hungry, tired, and fatigued. You'll get some food. We got million food. Can you not get more than six cans? Is six to max? Rip Timmy. Okay, you can't go out because you don't. You're, there's no way we can send Ted, so rip. Claustrophobia is difficult to fight against, especially in a little cluttered bunker. Maybe if we could open the door for just a few minutes, let some air in. I mean, you've been going outside the whole time with no problem, so I don't see why opening the door would get you killed. Well, you were outside for the last six, seven days. Oh, come on. <laughs> you dickhead. Opening the door and letting contaminated. You were outside without a gas mask the whole time. Why did that kill you? Why did this kill you now? We got Morse code though. Now instead of phobias, we need to deal with vomiting. Ted's stomach is still is rumbling. We already gave you food, man. Oh my God, he's got every debuff in the, under the sun. He is hungry, tired, fatigued. What is the difference between tired and fatigued? All right, I'll give you this. God damn it. Was there more there? Oh no. It seems awfully quiet. No, no, no. He can't go. He can't go outside. How about we put that radio to good use? Something might be on air even now. Sure, keep using it. Oh no, he's so dead. We have lots of food and drink though. Sleepy and weak, I see. Uh, once had we waded through all the static, we found a transmission that was hosted by some nut talking about conspiracies and saucer men from Mars abducting, abducting people. It was pretty amusing. That is hungry. Stay. Oh, God. Okay, so you're still hungry. So you'll get more food because we got a million food, so it's fine. I'm not certain about the situation on the surface a little. So yeah, we can't. Uh, we never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. Are you going insane? We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they've, pro they're, they've probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they are are huge and will probably attack us when they get the chance. Huge cockroaches? What is this, Fallout? <laughs> like the video game? Okay, we can... I guess we'll use the bug spray. Can we use both? No, it's one or the other. Ah, right, we'll use the bug spray. Although, they survive like a nuclear attack. Why will they die to bug spray? Sure, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what the book's gonna do. Are we gonna smack it with the book? That seems like unlikely to work. I mean, he's not dead yet. He's still there. Uh, we dodged a bullet this time. That is, if a bullet was a huge, hairy, was huge, hairy, had eight legs and a glowing head. Hopefully, we won't have to deal with them again. Ted is still sick. He's still... Oh, God. He's gonna die. He is just tired and fatigued. I could give him more food. I don't know if that helps to make him not as sick anymore. He can't go outside. He's still too weak. It's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully, we will keep our peace or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest and all. You can eat Dolores. I don't care. All right. Big cockroach. Yeah, what the hell? I hear radio. <laughs> I love this shit, man. Dolores. It makes like a wah, wah, wah sound when I click on you. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> what the fuck? Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and await rescue. Surely they're coming for us, right? Ah, you're fucked. Tired. You're thirsty? We got water. You're not hungry, though. Seems awfully quiet. Whatever. Uh, the more we know about what's going on outside, the better for us. Let's gather around the radio. With who? Are you going insane, Ted? You're talking in plural. There's one person. It's only you, man. Let's gather around the radio and see if we can tune into a station. Sure. He's going insane, man. We're already 28 days. This honestly went way better on my first try than I ever could have thought. We were able to tune in and get rid of just enough static to listen to a very energetic and lively speaker. He seemed well informed and mentioned a few helpful tips that should make it easier for us to survive the next expedition. Okay, Ted is... Oh, fuck, man. Can Timmy is never coming back, right? He isn't... St he, is, he is hungry. Wait, there's more here? Oh, wait. He is hungry. Sure, you'll get some food. 
Tired for can those doctors come by again? We really need it. Tired, fatigued, sick, hungry. Oh again. <laughs> Timmy is gone. Yeah, probably. All right, you can go. He's too weak. Fuck, man. If we prepare for an expedition, it's not gonna work, right? The siblings kept their word and visited us again with a request. Oh no, we don't have the axe. Seeing as they're slowly running out of space in their tent, their group is attempting to build a small camp for themselves. They already gathered some resources, but they need someone to help them chop wood and build houses. Rip, we're gonna fill. Get an ax and help the twins build some houses. Await further instructions from the military. Okay, uh, we're not gonna survive this long. I think it's I think it's a rip, a rip situation. Whoops. All right, well, you got food. That's the best I can do, sir. They won't help. We should... Is he dead? I heard coughing. He's, he looks worse and worse, man. He's literally green. We wish we had an axe. Its wood chopping qualities are quite useful, but it's even better as a deadly weapon against bandits. Either way, we obviously couldn't help our friends today. Ted hasn't recovered. Oh, God. Okay, what do you want? You don't want anything. I mean, we're gonna keep the food here, I guess. We're not- yeah, you still can't go- there's no way we can send Ted. I'm assuming he's gonna be sick for a really long ass time. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered us a simple one-time deal. For just one can of soup, we can get the bag and all of its contents. We can't see- this is some kind of fucking Mr. Beast video, bro. Do you want the can of soup or the bag and keep what is in the bag? <laughs> I've seen a TikTok like this. We can't see what's inside and the trader gives us angry glances every time. If those TikToks are anything to go by, you always want what's in the bag because it's always more money than he's offering you at, up front. So I gotta do it. <laughs> We can't see what's inside and the trader gives us angry glances every time we take a step towards the mysterious bag. Should we take the deal? All right, TikTok, don't let me down. Is it going to be medicine? Wait, what? They're going to cat? I got a cat? <laughs> Let's go, dude. The cat will live on. That's a way the TikToks were right. As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the walls when the beast finally escaped. It turned out to be just an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Its collar says Sharikov. Is that its name? Okay. There's no water. Where's water? Wait. Oh, we got water. You're thirsty? Somehow he's still alive. Oh, you can go now! Okay, well, we gotta go. <laughs> Ted, despite his need for a nap, Ted could try his best. Oh, but he's gonna be so tired. But he's gonna die if we don't send him. What is this? Some door-to-door -door salesman. Maybe we don't do this. I'm not sure. I'm just reading this first. Some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came over with a bunch of leaf leaflets and tried to convince us to join something called astro citizen but we refused now he just wants supplies and he says he will reveal some state secrets to us in return is it both or just i mean we got so much we don't have that much food but we're probably not gonna live to see the end of this food ration anyway so <laughs> i mean we, we genuinely don't need it because we're gonna die before it even matters uh do we need to go should we send them out there Fatigued, sick, thirsty. I don't think we should. I should let him rest one more day before we send him out there. Although it's probably unlikely that he'll survive. It didn't say like he's about to die, right? Whatever, see it. We need to feed the... Oh, is he dead? I hear more coughing now. Oh, fuck. There's an empty water bottle under my face, by the way. Uh, we are generous... So we shared our supplies with him. He tried to make us believe that America has a working space station in orbit, or rather had, since according to that guy, it exploded when the bombs dropped. How convenient! A working space station, what a joker. He was probably so hungry and dehydrated, his brain started playing tricks on him. Okay, so he did lie. So next time we don't do that. Fuck you. I mean, we didn't need the food though. Um, fatigued and sick, but you gotta go, man. He's gotta go out there. I'm sorry. I think... <laughs> Because there's no way we can live without the medicine. Unless there's something that comes by now. Oh, what is that? It seems like a distant rumble, but it's getting louder. 
And why is everything shaking? Oh God, it's a quake. Grab something and hold on. I will grab the flashlight. I'm assuming we break whatever we grab, hold on to. Uh, did he even take my food? I swear I still had this much. What? No, we did lose food. I'm gonna send him out there. What's the worst that could happen? And then we use this. Send him with a gun. <laughs> That'd be kind of sick. Oh, it's the opposite. Oh, whoops. Should have grabbed the radio. <laughs> no, I thought it was the other way. I thought it was going to like, I don't know why it would work like that, but <laughs> that was a close call. The torch was about to hit the floor when we caught it. All right, uh, reps recipes radio again. But honestly, the whole place is a mess. Something might have been broken. We won't know until we look through everything. Let's hope no more quakes will hit us. Okay, that's uh, good to know for next time. Time to ration supplies. All right, you're going to get both. And then I'm going to send you out there. This is a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, and get some fresh, toxic air. Did the stream go down? I think something went wrong there on Twitch's side. Uh, stretch a bit, get some fresh, toxic air, maybe scavenge a thing or two. We sure could use some extra supplies. That is if we want to survive. I'm going to send you out there. What are you going to take? Well, not the gas mask anymore. Uh, I will give you the gun. Shoot something out there. <laughs> Let's go, sir. Here we go. He's so gonna die. Oh. Dude, we're surviving somehow. Are we? He's back! He's got a giant beard, and also you seem happy. You got more water! No medicine, though. We're fucked. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. He is back. That has safely returned from his voyage to the to the surface. Government is dropping supplies for survivors in the area. They are marked by smoke flares and can easily be seen. But most of them are barely reachable. Despite that, a lot of them were already ransacked by scavengers. How did they do that? One of the food drops broke in midair and now is raining soup. Luckily for us, a few cans survived the fall. We get two cans. Some crates were filled with very weird stuff. Why did they drop a crate full of rubber ducks? At least one of the smaller crates had a few water bottles in it. We forced one of the boxes open and found an impressive collection of stinky cheese and a gas mask. Wait, we also got a radio? What the fuck? <laughs> we discovered that eating with a gas mask on your face. Dude, I fucked up a moment ago and lost everything and then I gained everything back. <laughs> it's a fucking roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> on your face is not ideal. And since we value our lives and our noses, we decided to take the mask and leave the cheese behind. Our neighbors from another shelter gave us a radio. They said they found it in one of the drop crates, but they already had a working radio. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Uh-oh. Ted hasn't recovered. Okay, so he's really hungry and really tired. That actually worked out amazing. I will give you food. You're so gonna get killed. <laughs> Fuck. Fatigued, sick. Oh, no. You can't go out there. The army is on the radio again. They said they'll be scouting the neighborhood and s need to find clear signs of survivors that are still alive. We were asked to leave a few cards at the nearest bus stop to mark how many people occupied our shelter. We should get going if we want to make it before nightfall. All right, we're doing that. Luckily, we got... How do we get these cards again? We got these from some package. Dude, this game is very cool. Like, it's very interesting how you create this really weird story of things <laughs> tying together. Obviously, we're going to do that. Sandy, you think about the 60 months? Oh, Timmy got him. Yeah, Timmy found him. Let's go, Timmy. You will, your sacrifice will not be in vain. The cards are in place. All we need to do is wait for the army to pinpoint our location. That shouldn't take long. We hope. You're still hungry. Right? Still hungry? You'll get some food? I mean, you can eat all the food right now. You can't go out there. Sherikov sure can take care of itself. But we can't help but wonder how much of a self-made cat it is. It just so happens that we found an address on its collar. It's unlikely that its owner is still alive. And a trip... To the wasteland is always risky. Should we go outside and check that address? I don't think we... But there could be medicine. We really need some way to get medicine. Can we take something with us? <laughs> I don't know, man. Because I, f I don't know how much it's going to kill us. The cat will be... 
Because we've been sur surviving for like a whole 10 days with this sickness. It might just randomly kill us. Uh, and I feel like something is going to happen where they're just going to come by and give us medicine randomly. But the worst, no, the worst way to go would be to just slowly die to the illness. So I'm just going to risk it for the biscuit and we'll see how it goes. And then we'll just run it back if we die. Oh, he's still alive. Come on, did you get medicine? We grabbed our new fluffy friend for a little stroll through the waste only to immediately run into a couple of gentlemen dressed in trench coats fedoras and shades they must be redditors they gritted their teeth at the sight of the cat and said they'd been looking for it apparently it belonged belongs to their dear old nan who loves it dearly before we could utter a word they took sherikov thanked us and left the cat didn't seem to mind so maybe it's for the best okay we lost a mouth to feed and they're back where they belong hopefully uh, Ted's stomach is rumbling. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Ted is mighty tired. Oh, fuck. All right, that, I guess, worked out. You're hungry, thirsty. You're gonna get both. Uh, that is in no condition to go outside, so that's not gonna happen. Our last expedition brought news of a vehicle parked just down the street. It sure looked unique, but we never got close enough to get a good look. We're almost certain it's not a bandit trap. Perhaps we could send someone over to check it out. If you're almost sure, we should be fine. Oh, stay alive for 40 days? Dude, we're insane with it. I love that every time I do anything in the game, people in chat are like, no, don't do it. Just sit here and do nothing the whole time. That'll be fun. A shocking discovery. It was a rusty tank. It was a little crispy around the edges, and it was also missing wheels and some other crucial parts. But the seeds were fairly comfortable. Wouldn't it be amazing to just drive away and leave this radioactive hell behind us? Ted hasn't recovered. What is this? Ted is still mighty tired and needs more time to recover his strength. Ted isn't hungry anymore. Wait, there's more there? Okay, so you are fatigued, sick, and tired. The trifecta of fucking or fuckery. <laughs> Judging by the sound of gunfire and screams, it seems like a bend of thugs has taken control of the area. Going out would be very risky. Yeah, no, thank you. What was that? Did the radio static just stop for a moment? Let's try tuning into that signal. Let's do it. What is this? What the fuck? Did you make some kind of tank design? <laughs> Excuse me. There's so much. Get an axe and help the twins. Await further instructions from the military. I don't know what's going on with this. You drew something. I don't know what that is. Okay, anyway, we're going to tune into the radio. He just drew it. <laughs> he made a sketch. Oh, he's dying. No, come on. We really need medicine. I love it. It's just still just here. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Nothing, nothing, and nothing. We could hear nothing but the annoying static. Better luck next time. Uh, Ace, thank you for the thousand biddies. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. I wish I could do something about it. Uh, you don't need anything. Look how much food we still have, though. Judging by the sound of gunfire and screams, it seems like a band of thugs. Okay, so we're not doing that. Uh, just when we... Oh, we have stuff. Just when we thought we might have a quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits is on the other side of that door, demanding we walk out hands in the air or they will get in the hard way that doesn't sound too good what do we do lock it baby that's why we got this lock i was thinking when will we ever use this thing i don't think the harmonica i don't think they're gonna be like oh you play so good we're not gonna kill your ass we're just gonna lock it <laughs> we oh we have the gun <laughs> but there are many of them right they'll definitely shoot us <laughs> i mean i guess if we shoot them and steal their stuff Honestly, that might be sick because then we could get medicine. This is not gonna give us anything, right? This will just keep us safe This will actually potentially give us something So I'm just gonna go big or go home and I'm gonna blast them. We got no bullets I mean, why would it give me the option if there was no bullets? Did it work? <laughs> oh, we broke the gun, but that's fine. We've been you got a lot of use out of that Dude, it's broken like the most cartoonish way possible. <laughs> uh, we were able to defend our home this time. What if they come back? Our trusty old rifle helped us fight, but now it's just a piece of junk. This is not good. Wait, the cat is back? 
Uh, to our surprise, we found Sherikov back at our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. Is it our good care? It appreciates our kind hearts, optimism, or just our stockpile of soup cans? Only time will tell. Ted hasn't recovered still. Okay. You are thirsty and hungry. Eat some food. So we didn't get anything from that. So that was just... We should have just used the lock there, but that's fine. All right, you still can't go out. The siblings kept their word. No, we don't have an axe still, man. I wish I could. I did some, so many expeditions and stuff. Seeing as they're slowly running out of space in their tent, their group is attempting to build a small camp for themselves. They already, yeah, we can't do this. I'm sorry. It's a spy. The, cat, the cat's a spy. All right. Well, I'm sorry. That's not happening. 43 days, dude. We're insane with it. What are you doing, cat? Uh, it's unfortunate, we, but we don't have any tools and we can't just chop wood with our bare hands. No matter how determined we are, we had to refuse. Okay, you're no longer hungry. So you're just fatigued, sick, and tired. Uh, a loud crash, a surprise shriek, and a bit of debris falling from our ceiling. Truly a recipe for a good start of the day. As it turns out, Sherikov found a new toy, a bit of an innocuous... A bit of innocuous wiring that it ripped out of the wall. Who knows what the cable is for, but our lights are still on, so it can't be that important, right? Should we take the wire away from this fluffy friend and investigate it? If we steal his wire, he's going to attack, right? <laughs> it's not going to really help us get anything. Although you're already sick anyway. So if you get scratched up by the cat, it's not really going to help. Or it's not really going to matter. What would it do? A cable. I don't. I think this is one of those, like, why would we... It doesn't seem to further anything. Maybe it'll do something special, but whatever. Dude, we're actually cr crazy with this. We'll just let him have the thing. Uh, a carrot works better than a stick. Let the cat have its dumb wire. We're positive that the cat can be of use to us, considering all the radioactive roaches and other furry beasts lurking. We'd rather have a friend in Shirakov when the army of mutant hamsters comes for us. And they will. Oh, they will. Something should be done. Yeah, I wish. I really want to do something about his sickness. Is he finally not tired enough? Oh, no, he's still. Fuck, dude. We're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We notice a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of the local retirement home. They must have some supplies, and in our opinion, we need them more. The well-being of your family is the most important thing in the world, right? We're gonna steal from a grandma? They're gonna beat our ass, dude. I don't think we... I mean, we really need medical supplies. <laughs> we need them. I'm sorry, grandma. <laughs> we have to. Oh. We got, I got an achievement. Show your evil. S oh my God, there's blood on the wall. <laughs> I love the background. What happened? Did we get medicine? We just got a freaking chess or checkers board. Are you kidding me? We went, got what we needed and came back. We're sure that group will do just fine. I mean, why wouldn't they do just fine? We only got their checkerboard. We didn't take their food. Okay. Uh. Well, that's fine. You're thirsty. Drink some water. Wait, you lost one of the things, though. Okay, now you can actually go out there. Ooh, I think we wait one more. Oh, no, but if we do this... Damn, but he's still fatigued. But last time he did well. With the map? I mean, we gotta send him out there because he needs to be... <laughs> it's not... Isn't this checkers? I think it is. I mean, we gotta send him out there. We have to because he's... otherwise he's just going to slowly die from his illness. One of the cupboards in the shelter was a bit shaky, so we pulled it out to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Where does it lead? No idea, but let's find out. Sure, we'll find out. Probably gonna get bit by giant cockroaches, but whatever. We gotta do something. Uh, use the cards to pinpoint. Sure, we're doing all kinds of stuff right now. It's very risky, but let's see it. I cannot believe we are still alive. Uh, what happened? We inspected every corner of the room and found nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. Okay, so that was nothing. Um, you are going on a trip, right? Yes. What are you taking? Let's see. That was everything, right? There's nothing. Yeah, he's just sick again. Okay, what are we taking? I take the card, checkerboard, scout, harmonica, map. Ooh, I mean, he's already sick. Wait, he can take the radio? He can take a can of food. Doesn't seem to... 
I mean, you could trade it. We can give him the mask, so then he might stay alive a little longer. We can give him the map so he can find... I just don't know what any of this does. We could give him this to find some... Uh, probably some kind of pharmacy. Honestly, let's just give him the map, because he needs to go somewhere. I mean, mask, he's already sick anyway, so what does it matter? <laughs> like, if he gets double sick, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so you're going out there. We'll give him food, even, before... Sure, here you go. Maybe we can... If we give him the scout book, he can find, like, herbs and stuff. Oh, maybe. He can, like, scavenge for medicine. Like, natural medicine. Let's just do the map. Let's do that. <laughs> it's it, There's good plans all around. Okay, here we go. Days fly by. Somehow we're still in there. He returned with no medical supplies. You piece of shit! Ted left for the surface. We hope he will be back. Okay, he safely returned from his voyage to the surface. The silent wasteland had at least one resident who managed quite well. It was a proud looking monkey. We had no idea where it came from. The zoo, maybe. It seemed very friendly. After getting a few pats on the back and playing fetch, it started following us. While we explored one of the streets, our monkey companion ran away, only to come back moments later carrying a can of food. It couldn't open it by itself, but it was happy to share it with us. At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. Something should be- Okay, well, I he is a Superman, dude. He's still insane. <laughs> this is crazy. How are we 55, 54 days on our first attempt? Okay, you're hungry, tired. You get food. Uh, you're obviously not going out there. Uh, a band of raiders are at our doorstep. They demand we let them in. This is not no game. We either yield or we fight back. There is no middle ground here. I am going to lock it this time because last time we just lost the gun. So let's hope this works. Why does it say axe? That padlock. Here we go. We could use the harmonica to play a music for them, but they're not going to give a shit. They're going to kill us. <laughs> Defend yourself without a weapon. Pacifist achievement. Let's go. We got a message from the radio. Uh, we didn't think that a small padlock would stop them. They didn't watch those TikTok that are like, you are using a master lock. You can open it with another master lock. And then they tick it against each other and they both fucking open immediately. Uh, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems they gave us this whole break-in a fair sh- they, It seems that they gave this whole break-in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad that Patlock is no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other soup-hungry barbarians. We were able to defend our home this time, but what if they come back? During one of its insane episodes- Wait. During one of its insane episodes at around three- AM last night, Sherikov ran face first into the wall, causing a loose brick to fall out. Behind it was a cigar box with some ammunition. Isn't this your house? What the hell? Thanks, whoever left it there. Ted is hungry. Ted keeps coughing and coughing. He still hasn't recovered his energy. Okay, we got bullets for a gun that we don't have, so that doesn't really help. Um, do you need something? You are hungry. Eat some food. You're obviously not going out there. The military is coming. No, we need an axe for everything, man. Okay, so next time we need to grab the axe. Get the axe is going to be very important if we don't make it this time. The military is communicating through the radio again. We're sure it was a signal to evacuate out of here, but it turns out they need our help. The speaker requested that all able citizens in the area should chop down a tree or two in the nearby park. It sounds ridiculous, but they're claiming this will make it easier for them to extract us. We never even liked that park, so let's do this already. We can't do it, though. We don't have an axe. Both things require axes, man. Are you kidding me? I've been going out so much, and I haven't gotten an axe ever. I need you to not be as tired anymore. I hear knocking. Please be good, guys. We really need some good guys here. We can trade you all the food you want. We got all the food out of the sun, but we just... We're not lumberjacks, and we're not chopping down that park. Maybe another time. Oh, okay, so you're hungry, uh, and you need water. We can give you both. There we go, right? Hungry, thirsty, yes. We can't- we've heard some commotion above, and we're pretty sure it's a band of raiders. Okay, rip. A scientist, at least supposedly, arrived on our doorstep yelling, Dr. Sherikov, are you there? 
He was looking for his lost cat, but kept referring to it to the pet as his favorite assistance. His research apparently can't go on without the cooperation of Dr. Sherikov. Since the cat doesn't seem keen on moving out of the bunker anytime soon, the doc wants us to compensate him by helping him with his project. In these circumstances, it might not be the worst idea to befriend other wastelanders, even the batshit crazy ones. Okay, I don't even have a choice here, so I guess we're doing that, <laughs> whatever that is. It's a damn doctor cat. Couldn't he have cured us this whole time? Yeah, what the hell, man? We're hearing knocking again. Something should be done. Yeah, 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 whatever. You're not hungry. I, somehow they're still alive. I guess sickness is not as bad as... Like, it's not instantly gonna kill you, clearly. We got a visit from... Wait, what? We got a visit today from a person with a physical, physical mutation. He managed to grow several extra fluffy operational hands. He shared the story of his group with us, people with other deformities, who despite the circumstances remain friendly and struggle to gather supplies. Wherever they go, people just shoo them away in fear of getting sick. Did I read it wrong? Fully! <laughs> I thought it said fluffy. It's <laughs> fully operational hands. Okay, sorry. <laughs> But it could also be fluffy, though. <laughs> he promised that if we gift him some supplies, his group will help us get rid of bandits next time they bother us. Okay. What do we got the most of? Definitely food. So we're giving him food. Take some food, sir. Dude, we actually got so much food to spend. That's good. I hear a knock again. We really could use, like, medicine, please. <laughs> Whether it was pity or just fear of bandits, we're not sure, but in the end we agreed to his terms. We will be calmer knowing that someone else is looking out for us, especially someone with so many arms. <laughs> okay, so you're still tired. Uh, you're not going out there. The cat wandered out of the shelter and returned with a small note from the crazy scientist, urging us to help with him with his next project. He's building some sort of vehicular contraption that gave us no details. He only wrote that if all goes well, we can use this vehicle to get out of the wasteland. The dog told us to start stockpiling for the trip, starting with several bottles of water. He'll come around to pick them up soon. Will he just steal our stuff? Because that's kind of what it sounds like. They were actually doing... What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we're finding like seven different wind conditions, man. And somehow we're still alive through all of it. 59. Uh, I heard radio there. You're playing checkers with yourself. Very sane thing to do. Uh, you're still sick. Really thirsty. Wait, really thirsty? Did I not... Were you... What? Okay, you get both. You're fine. Uh, we're almost certain there are bandits around. Running into them would be a big mistake. All right, we're not doing that. Alarm! Someone is trying to break in. They're not alone. We better get ready or else we might up dead or worse. All right. Let's see what happens when you click harmonica here. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. We're dead. It's ogre. What? I got an achievement called unkillable. Defeat three banded attacks in one game? Wait, we defeated them with the harmonica? They lower down their weapons and cried a few tears, surprised by the beauty of our music. They will let us live today. How the fuck does that work? All right, then. Dude, we're unkillable. <laughs> oh, my God. He's still so fucked, though. <laughs> this is crazy. We were never huge fans of mushrooms, but with a colony of them growing on our walls, we've changed our loyalties. We're all about mushrooms now. Should we eat them? No, unless they're medicine mushrooms, it doesn't matter because you don't need any food. We just need medicine. And I'm assuming they're not going to be medicine, so no thank you. <laughs> You're just going to get sick again on top of your already existing sickness. I'm hearing knocking again. Wasn't there a radio? Uh, we may be hungry, but there are just some things we will never eat. Well, wall fungus is one of them. Uh, you are not hungry, though. You're just sick and tired of my shit, probably. No, we needed four water bottles? The dog came knocking on our door to collect the supplies that they were that he requested. They're an important they're Im they're important for the project, he said. We can trust him. After all, he's a doctor. I'm sorry, but we don't have four fucking bottles of water. If it was two, we would be fine. Honestly, we were closer than <laughs> we were pretty damn close, man. We got so much water, but not four, you insane person. Alright, well. 
I guess we're alone now. <laughs> oh god. Uh oh. I drank it? Yeah, I mean, we gotta drink to stay alive. This guy is a bit too nutty, even by our standards. We'll hold on to our supplies for now. We can always change our minds later, okay? You're really thirsty now. That's fine. We, did, we At least we kept the water for you to drink. It's day, si day 69 is a special win condition. Let's go. You can go out there again. I mean, we gotta. We have to get shit, man. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. They offer a gun for... Wait a minute. We get a gun for the checkers board? For sure we take that. So we can fight again? Absolutely, 100%. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, we're going crazy. Now we're sending you out there. The weird man tried to, to make... Wait, I didn't even read it. I was just checking out that. I should have read the thing. The weird man tried to make us buy fried cockroaches on a stick covered in some mysterious sauce. Yeah, if only we had the thing to get the axe. Hey, Jojo, what's up? Uh, covered in some mysterious sauce. These snacks look pretty disgusting, so we turned them down, but we bought something else from him. He looked a bit disappointed. Okay. Let's go. You're, I'm going to give you some stuff because you're about to go on an expedition. Okay, let's see. So no event today. So what do we give him? This is very important. We could give him the gas mask, but he's already sick anyway. We can give him cards for whatever reason. Boy Scout... I think we give him the weapon to defend himself. I think. Let's send him out there. <laughs> and we'll see. No! I got, why did achievement spoil it, bro? Day 69, we're gonna go down on day 69? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it was a win condition. <laughs> what happened? The end. No. <laughs> really? That's nice, I guess. Ted left for the surface. We'll hope he'll be back soon. Ted has been outside for far too long and he still has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. How? Of all places we could have perished, this is probably the best one. Or maybe not. We held out for 69 days. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> That is too hilarious. All right, we gotta try again. Okay, so what have we learned from this playthrough? Sickness doesn't matter that much because we actually survived very long with sickness, but you eat a lot more, I think. So we need the ax, we need the ax. We need a radio. The gas mask was really good. Honestly, the supplies weren't even that big of an issue. Just make sure you have a little bit of water and a little bit of food and not like a ton of one and not a lot of the other. I think that was the, that was what we learned there. Oh, we have a little little summary. I'm going to take some screenshots of the summary if you want to check it out of all the things. Uh, here we go. That was pretty good, honestly. <laughs> uh, you perished. I mean, surviving 69 days on my very first playthrough was probably better than I could have hoped. So, yeah. Uh, share your adventure. End adventure. Yes decisions. No decisions. Super. I like all these stats. <laughs> Items brought from Expeditions 21. All right, end adventure for now, but we're gonna run it back immediately. Okay, so I will take the gun and some of this. Some food and water. Food, water, gun. Here we go. I'm ready to go. I should have scouted a little bit. Food, water, gun is good to have. Drop it in the shelter. There's the ax. We need to take the ax. Drop it. Ax, water, map. That was super useful. There we go. The checkers board was also useful, but we definitely need more food, this, water. We need to grab some people too. To get the lock as well. The lock actually protected us last time. Yes, yes, yes. We need to grab some people, otherwise we're fucked. Uh, grab Timmy. All right, lady, you're coming with us now. Last time you didn't even make it in. Uh, and then Timmy, 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 Timmy. I can't get, you're three spots, bro. We need the radio. You're too fucking big. Go, 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 go. Grab Timmy, grab some water. Grab the radio. Where's the radio? I don't know. The grass mask. Go, go, go. What if we stay? There's the radio. Take it now. Come on. Pick the lady as well. Lady, you're coming with us. Go, 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 go. Okay, I made it. We actually did it. That was a pretty sick run. Oh, we should have gotten med kit. All right, it's fine. We got some water. We got a little bit of everything. We got the axe. We got two people. Or we got everything, right? We got all the people this time. Didn't we? <laughs> that was pretty good. I think. We just didn't get any medicine. We'll have to trade for that. 
Family guy, rescue the whole family, let's go. All right, we got everyone this time and we got a shitload of supplies. We got three food, five water, bug spray that I didn't even remember taking. We got lock, gas mask, map, radio, ax, this, and the checkerboard. That's pretty crazy. And thankfully we didn't take the tuba. All right, day one, here we go. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing ca canned soup is healthy for you. We didn't take the flashlight though. We could have maybe grabbed that at the end. I don't know, whatever. Uh, when we opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves. Oh, here, we're already stocked. We can't really say we recall putting all of these supplies in here. Yeah, why, by the way, didn't we put this already in here? before hell broke loose isn't it the point of an escape shelter to have it stocked with enough supplies why do i have to do this shit we can't really say we recall putting all of these supplies here but we're definitely going to put them to good use okay so we already got bug spray this is amazing we don't have that much food no one's complaining yet but even canned soup might become an extravagant dish quite soon plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time this is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Let's go. The game is praising me. All right, so no one needs to eat. Everyone is fine. Can we not? We can't go on an expedition day one, but um, we'll do that next day. How about that trip to Nevada? We've been postponing for a while now. Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. All right, first, this is good. I think we're fine. We should take a screenshot of our situation here because this is a pretty solid set up here i think uh let's see what happens our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here the morning has been calm enough for ted and he's doing well mary jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything the lord is quite calm given the situation like the good scout he is timmy is making the best out of this situation he even seems cheerful so we didn't get the book this time all right no one needs everything well you're not getting anything then uh, we're definitely going on an expedition right away because that's the only benefit of having this many people is that we can send them out there to die and get shit for us. <laughs> uh, a group of doctors knocked on our door today requesting some supplies that would be helpful in refilling their first aid kits. We didn't doubt they were the real deal for a second. They did have lab coats and everything. Should we help them? Well, if we can trade, they might just heal us. But we have a lot of water. That's the one thing we have more of than food. So I will give you water. So then maybe you will give us medicine. So then we can fend off at least one illness or injury. Hopefully. And we'll see how that goes. Help is good. Especially from doctors. I'm so glad we have the axe this time. This is really fun. Like it's such a fun like roguelike kind of idea. Where you're like <laughs> grabbing random stuff that last round you couldn't. Or last playthrough you couldn't uh do stuff because you didn't have one of them now you have it uh, a bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we will ever get to hydrogen peroxide the guests were grateful anyway where is water when ted needs it can we spare some okay everyone needs water so everyone's gonna drink thirsty 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 we could also just let them all de we could stretch it one more day and then give everyone water but we're going to send someone out there. Let's at least give the person... Timmy was great last time at doing expeditions. So let's send them out there with what? Definitely not the axe. We'll send them out there with a map at first. We'll feed everyone tomorrow. We will just feed you because it'll probably increase your chances of having a good expedition. Uh, we're just going to stretch it one more day. So Timmy is going out there with the map. He could use gas mask because it's pretty... Let's actually see. Wait, do we have the gas mask? Yeah, we do. Uh, what did it say? So what time who will it be the wasteland of waste we'll do the mask sure we'll do we'll send him out with the mask he's also drinking uh let's go wait until dehydration and starvation you guys are fucked up okay and we went outside we don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back ted looks like he's got one food in the foot in the grave he needs to drink right now okay we're gonna drink everyone or we probably stretch it one more day but i'm gonna not push their limits too hard right away uh this is insane we keep finding so okay we need to do this because last time oh you can send multiple people i didn't know you could do that maybe i should have done that huh uh we keep finding spiders everywhere they're in our soup they're in our water we swear some of them keep coming back and they are bigger every time we see them it can't go on like this it's time to wage war on these spiders okay we're gonna use the bug spray because last time we got sick from this and then everything went to shit right away 
So let's use... <laughs> no one needs... We already gave him water. Yeah, everyone's fine. Okay, use the bug spray. Frick those spiders. Uh, I, It seems like we lost it. We got water, though. There's one thing that can drive spiders away and stop us climbing up the furniture. It's the bug spray. If there's one thing, it's the bug-killing bug spray. This was the right time to unleash its deadly weapon, and the results were excellent. We eradicated 404 of those little bastards. We even found a water bottle stashed in the corner. It was a good day. Okay, good shit. And no one is thirsty anymore, and we got additional water back. Spider soup, or spider water, let's go. We were pretty sure Mary Jane had her birthday two weeks ago, but it turns out it's today. Shall we... Get her something a young lady trapped in a tiny shelter would enjoy. Bug spray? She would enjoy bug spray? Really? <laughs> I mean, we don't have any of this. I'm sorry. You should have taken the cards, maybe. Cards were actually... But we got cards last time. What is this still? Oh, this is still that tank picture. I don't know what that's about. All right, I'm sorry we got you nothing. <laughs> Goodbye. Should have saved the spray. Whatever. We got water with it. It's fine. Uh, Mary Jane is too old for birthdays. That's what we think. Mary Jane, no one is fine. Everything seems okay. All right, no one is... Oh, you're hungry, though. Okay, you're hungry, but we're going to stretch that one more day. That's fine. I hope Timmy comes back. Oh, fuck, we don't have to... Did we never got to use the Boy Scout book at all last round, and now we need it immediately? We've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. He should have been far from where the bomb... He should have been far from where the bombs fell, but no one knows for sure. It would be great to find out. He always looked on the bright side of life, so maybe we should too, but it's not easy. Say, didn't we have a photo of him tucked away in one of the books at home? I'm sorry, no books. Rip. Boom. We'll be fine. I can't... I want to see your legendary beard grow. Day seven, we already survived the week. And so we are left with no photos, no news, and no happy thoughts. The world is too cruel. Ted is hungry. You're still fine though. Where, okay, everyone needs water and food. Now let's see, you're thirsty. You're hungry and thirsty. You're hungry and thirsty. We'll give everyone food for now and then give them, we could probably stretch it one more day. But it is, let's just give everyone food and then next day we'll give them all water. How about that one? Is that a, Mary Jane has been awful silence today. silent today. This is very unlike her. Should we try talking to her? Of course, why not? What else are you gonna do in this place? Say nothing and just sit around all the time? <laughs> We're trying to stretch the supplies a little longer because last time I gave everyone supplies as soon as they needed it. Now I'm gonna try something different because that's the point. If you're gonna treat, keep trying the same thing over and over again, that's the definition of insanity. We gotta try to stretch the limits a little bit. We'll talk to her, because why not? That seems stupid. Why would you ignore her? Is she going to slap me in the face? I'm hearing a lot of radioactive Geiger counter stuff. Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We have hot beverages? We don't have the ladder. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> we don't have the ladder, but talking alone seems to do the trick. Okay, you need drinking. You all need drinking. You're dehydrated, you're dehydrated, you're dehydrated. You're still hungry? Didn't I just give you food, you dickhead? I'll give you water, though. As we- Oh, no, what the fuck? As we were considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in pretty good shape. All they wanted was to get something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least clean bandages and medicine to attend to their wounded. So last time we did this, we got into a mission that required us to have an axe, but we didn't have an axe. This time, we have an axe. So what we can do uh, is we... Did I say something wrong again? The bad shape? Whatever. Um, I will give them... We don't have much, but Timmy's coming back, right? We will give them water. So then we can start that mission to escape, and we have the axe this time. So let's try it. Might be risky, but let's see. We, we gotta go for a uh, for escape. We have to do something. We can't just sit here all the time. Oh, he's back with a million soup, bro! What did I- I should have given them food then instead. I didn't know you were gonna get a million soup, sir. Um, our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed, smiles and hugs exchanged, and they wish, wish us all the best. It's a great feeling to be helping someone out. They left soon after to seek shelter in the ruins of our town. We hope they'll make, they make it out there. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. 
When scavenging for supplies, one should check every possible corner, even if it doesn't seem promising. With that in mind, we ventured into the ruins of the local bank, hoping to find something more than piles of useless pre-apocalypse coins. It looks like the bank was robbed just before the blast. Just before the blast, the vault was cracked open with saws hidden in teddy bears. Who does that? Anyway, we can see why they wanted to rob it so badly. The place was filled with some tomato soup cans. How did it end up there? Maybe the mill had it delivered to a bank instead of a food bank. Four soup. This is how they guarded. So this is how they guarded the place. Dude, that's insane. Uh, we also got cards. Unacceptable. Wait, what? So this is how they guarded the place. Unacceptable. In the guard room, we found skeletons of two individuals who seemed to have been playing cards when the bombs hit. Good thing we kept all of our money in a really safe place. That is our special cookie jar in the kitchen. Those guards didn't provide much safety here, but their cards will contribute to a high quality shelter entertainment. Thanks. Let's go. Timmy went on an insane trip. Dude, he's crazy. Okay, no longer thirsty. You're still hungry. Uh, Dolores, you should eat something and you're really tired. Okay. Dude, we even got more soup than this. We're maxed out beyond capacity. Let's see. So you're, well, then we're gonna eat. Might as well. Uh, and you're hungry. Let's go. I mean, we got this food. Might as well use it. Timmy is going sicko mode. And now we can do another expedition immediately because Timmy doesn't have to go. We'll just send maybe Dolores as well as Mary Jane. We'll see. Um... We're definitely doing another expedition, though. Being safe down there, down here, is much better than being pulverized out there. But that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we should take a walk soon. The neighborhood is probably much more peaceful since the bombings. <laughs> yeah, Timmy is great, dude. All right. Let's go. Day 10. We, we are in a good shape. As long as we... <laughs> We don't get absolutely screwed over. We can take care of ourselves. Timmy should eat something. Okay. Didn't we just give you food? He still hasn't rested. Uh, he's been talking about nothing other than water. Okay. We need water so bad. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Today's been fine. Ted isn't hungry. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, so let's see. You are not hungry. You are not. You are hungry and thirsty we have just enough to set to give it to him i'm thinking i'm doing we're doing that just so he can recover faster so we can send two no we can only send one person at a time uh what is with this then maybe no yeah we can't okay so let's think we could send the kids out there uh because they're strong right probably maybe <laughs> Um, she's fine, right? Maybe we should give her some food. What do we give them, though? Let's see. Well, we can give them, like, everything, right? Definitely not the axe. We could give them the map. The lock, that doesn't seem. The radio, definitely not. The gun we keep for defense. Um, we could just give the gas mask, because right now we're in a decent shape. And then she doesn't get sick when she comes back. So let's give her the gas mask and see what she gets. Although, the mask map can help them find stuff better. But let's just uh, make sure they don't get all sick. And hopefully she'll be back and not die. <laughs> God damn it. Timmy is an insane expeditioner, though. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Timmy still hasn't rested. I love how they can stay outside for so many days without food. I mean, maybe they find some. I don't know. Uh, so you are no longer hungry, no longer thirsty. You want water and you want also water and food. God damn it. So you're thirsty. I think I'm going to stretch that one more day. Because water is a little low, but food is not. So I'm just going to give you food. Food is fine. And then we'll save the water for one more day and then give it to both of them. And see. Oh, we don't have anything. Fuck. After all the days we spent down there, we're not... Ex oh, no! The fucking... This is what happened last time, you piece. We smell really bad. We didn't bother us until we know... We, we shouldn't have sent her with the gas mask. <laughs> Wait. Oh, fuck. She's gone now. We should have kept the gas mask. Fuck me, man. Why would bullets help here? Uh, well, time for everyone to get sick. We don't have soap, but there are other alternatives we should consider. Why would bullets help? All right. Well, we do. So we didn't give the. We did give the doctors help. Maybe they'll immediately heal us. Who knows? All right. Well, time for everyone to get sick. <laughs> to end themselves. That seems like a bad idea. Oh my god, that's so bullshit, man. They all get sick. That's insane. 
The world has ended. Who cares about showering? We can get used to it. Adapting shouldn't be hard. It will be like a camping trip. It will. Oh no, that smell is just terrible. Don't puke. Don't suspicious looking stains go over the face. Okay, so we need to save. Uh, I don't know what the ammunition, the, but like the gas mask or bug spray for that event so you don't all get sick. Timmy keeps falling asleep in his chair. He needs a few days. Timmy feels sick. Okay, everyone's sick and you're infected. God damn it. You are... Okay, so everyone needs water. You need water. You need water. You are fine. You're just sick. Hear that? Because no one is talking. Not No, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours. None at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Sure, use the radio to get a signal. Hopefully. Because we need to... I mean, why haven't you been using the radio up till now, you idiot? Yeah, Mary Jane is on expedition. We actually got everyone. Okay, you didn't break the radio. I appreciate that. Uh, ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Okay, you're not thirsty, but you're hungry now. Um... This is fine. I'll read that on the next page. We can't leave th Timmy. Okay, so let's see. You are hungry. You are sick. And you are thirsty and hungry. Timmy is like, we need to keep Timmy around. We'll give you food. You don't need anything. We'll give you food now. And then we'll give you water on the next day. We can keep we're doing it again. We can keep sitting on our backsides here. In this tiny little bunker. Or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own. The escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Alright, sure, we'll use the radio. Why not? Ted is very hungry. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, they're still sick. Good news, the government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. The announcer asked everyone to listen, listening to wait a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. We'll be out of here in no time. That keeps coughing. Okay, everyone is still fricked. Uh, you are sick, you're sick and you need water. Okay, well, this is honestly okay. The doctors really need to come back, man. God damn it. <laughs> what the hell? Breathe calmly. One, two, three. That's better. Don't panic, don't panic. We need to open the door the instant, this instant, or we're all going to die. Open the door. Okay, um, they're all gonna go crazy. I mean, honestly, they're already sick. What's the worst that could happen? Might as well. <laughs> they're already sick anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna run off though. Okay, they're all still here. This is good, this is fine. <laughs> what happened though? Opening the door and letting contaminated air wasn't a great idea. Now instead of... Okay, well, they're vomiting, but that doesn't matter because they were already vomiting anyway. Uh, well, now, but now they're thirsty, though. God damn it. Let's see. Thirsty, thirsty, hungry, sick. Okay, well, I'm going to wait on the thirst for one more day because we're really running low on water. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? Yes, we should. Who do we send? I think Dolores. I want to make sure that Ted... The Timmy needs to be safe, and I'm Ted, right? So we need to preserve ourselves. So, Dolores, here you go. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Oh, everyone's back, baby! And she's not even sick. We did get we got more water, we got bug spray. We got a Boy Scout book. What the hell? When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Our house is in ruins. We still haven't paid the mortgage. No need to worry about that now. Is there? Is there? The least we could do was pick through whatever is left and see if there are any useful items. Maybe one if, of Timmy's comic books survived the only recognizable furniture in the kids room were burned desks and mary jane's bed there was a hidden stash under the bed it was full of soup cans why did you keep that there mary why didn't you tell us about the hidden soup stash what the hell man our kitchen is a pile of rubble i mean i guess she knew about it because she found it our kitchen is a pile of rubble it took us weeks to find those lovely chairs that matched the floor tiles now they were nowhere to be found only a few bottles of water remained scattered in the dirt 
Only a handful of books survived the apocalypse. They were scattered all over our lawn. Many of them were badly burned, but a scout handbook with the number 13 scribbled on the first page was barely touched. The muddy swamp, which used to be our toilet, is now home to something that remotely resembles a mutated turtle. After exchanging a few, few pleasantries, it gave us anti bug Dude, this isn't the most insane expedition I've ever seen. What the fuck? <laughs> we got two food, two water, book, and the bug spray. <laughs> it might sound paranoid. Maybe Mary Jane is the true expedition champion. What the hell? It might sound paranoid, but we... I think someone followed us. Let's hope this doesn't happen again. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. That looks like he's got one foot in the grave. Okay, you need you all need to drink and stuff. Let's see. Uh, so we got even more food now. Holy. Uh, you are sick and dehydrated. Let's give you water. You also need water. You are hungry. And you are just sick. Okay, absolutely crazy. But we do need to do another expedition because we need to get more water. So we have to go back out there. Timmy can even go back out there. Timmy has had a chance to get back. But wait. Timmy has a is he still tired? No, he's not tired anymore. I'm I'm doing an expedition. We got it, obviously. We need to use our manpower. We know very little about what's going on outside. It might it'd be a good idea to find out more. Maybe discover if anyone else made it to safety. A radio could help with this. Alright, we're using the radio. Wait military instruction and wait further. When is the are the doctors ever gonna come back or did we get scammed? What the hell? <laughs> the frick? Yeah, expeditions are absolutely insane. Okay, everyone's still alive, <laughs> luckily. Uh, we were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. Ted is no longer thirsty. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. Getting something to drink. Okay, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. They all need food and stuff. Uh, let's see. Sick. Sick. Hungry and thirsty. You'll get uh, food, but no water yet. Uh, are we sending Timmy back out there? Because <laughs> he was really good last round. He seems like he is nimble. We'll give him water. And then I think we got to send him out there, man. Well, what do we give him? Do we, the gas mask has worked absolutely insane for us. And we do have bug spray this time, right? In case we need to... I think we sent him out there with the gas mask again. Although, to be fair, he's already sick anyway. So maybe we send him with the gun instead. But we can use the gun. Maybe we send him with the ma map because he's already sick. Honestly, I think it's time to, to send him with the map. Well, we well, didn't use the Bo Boy Scout book at all last round. But... Honestly, maybe we should... Let's just see what happens with the Boy Scout book. Because we didn't use that at all last round. Let's see it. So we're sending... Oh, fuck. We're sending you with book. Just to see what the effect is. Because we know the map gives you some supplies sometimes. Um, but let's try book. Because we didn't use the book at all. Maybe you can find some medicine or something. Like some herbs that... Okay, well, goodbye. At least Mary Jane is still, like, healthy. <laughs> so we'll, we'll keep one person alive. Um, Timmy went to the wasteland. We don't know what he'll will do if he doesn't come back. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. He's hungry, blah, blah, blah. They're all sick and shit. Uh, hungry, sick, dehydrated. So you'll get food. You're also hungry, though. Damn, everyone needs food all the time. We started arguing with Dolores about opening the bunker door a few days back. She's really aggressive and this could quickly escalate into something major. Should we try to ease her down, the alternative is our very own small war. I mean, yes, you should talk about it. What else are you going to do in this place? <laughs> Don't... Oh my god, did Mary Jane get sick from the fight or something? Oh no. You guys look a little worse now. <laughs> Even worse than you already were. What happened? Jazz, thank you for the super sub. Dolores had to release some steam. That's all. We're all a bit tired. Oh, no. But hopefully this can be cured with a good night's sleep. Damn, they're all going to be... I mean, I guess we don't need expedition anyway because we already sent someone out there. Something should be done about the... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so they're going to be tired now. Okay, that's fine. Because hopefully by the time that Timmy comes back, they'll all not be tired anymore. And then we can send someone out there again. I think this is fine. So you're... They're all thirsty, but I'm going to save that one more day. Oh, here we go. Our patience is wearing thin. 
We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there's any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness and their owner started growling in a most terrifying way. We only had moments to decide what to do. Okay, so let's think. We could use the gun. Gun can defend us. Bug spray can save us from sickness, but we already have, we're already sick anyway. So let's use the bug spray and hopefully that'll work out. Because I, I didn't, usually during these events, it doesn't really matter what you pick as long as you pick something. At least that's, because even the harmonica could defend against, uh, against like bandits and stuff. So let's use bug spray because we're already sick anyway. And we'll see. We still got the bug spray. Insect killing spray can wipe out any mutated mosquito as well as creatures lurking in the shadows. It didn't bother us again. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know you guys have, you guys want to backseat the shit out of everything, but I'm just going to play the game. <laughs> if you want to play it yourself, you can play the game yourself. <laughs> like I get, you can give some, uh, some like your own opinions, but don't just backseat the solution of the problem every time. Cause that is, that is bad backseating. Good backseating is just enjoying the experience and saying your opinion without giving the answer to what the, like giving me, oh, this option is going to do that. This option is going to do that. Cause that completely removes the challenge of the game. So I'm trying Trying to not to follow Chet's advice because it feels like cheating. We're just trying to, like, not the spoiler type of backseating. The like just enjoying and like playing together is fine, but no spoiler backseating, please. Um, dehydration. Everyone needs water. Uh, you are just sick and tired. Also hungry. Your, I mean, food. We can just give away like all the time. It doesn't matter. So you get food as well. Uh, let's go see what this is. What? Oh, we have both of these. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. Mmm, fuck. We don't want to lose any water, so we have to defend ourselves with the gun. We need to keep the axe, because the axe was uh, very important last time, and not having it really ruined a lot of our choices. So let's use the rifle, because we still got the padlock to defend against bandits if that happens anyway. Plus, the, I don't know if we have the harmonica, actually, but... Let's just use the rifle. Um, we're getting knocks on the door. Okay, the rifle is fucked, so I'm glad we didn't use the axe. What did we... We still lost water anyway? Our cans are safe. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food change. Good for us. Damn, our gun blew up when we tried to shoot the thing. You suck at this. Okay. Uh, well... We still have water. Okay, it just shows one thing. Let's see. You are sick, tired, sick, tired, thirsty, hungry. We need to wait for that. And Timmy, come back, please, Timmy. We need you. A knock on the door is not something we take lightly these days. So when a man came to our doorstep today, offering us a highly profitable game of cars, cards, we weren't convinced. Is a bet of two soup cans in a card game a reasonable choice in our situation? I mean, we have so much soup that it honestly is a worthwhile risk maybe we'll win some water i'm gonna go for it because we have so much we need to wager the supplies we have lots of to get the supplies that we don't have lots of so the supplies that we have a lot we can just put on the on the line i'm okay with that let's see it we'll not i mean maybe we'll okay we lost oh no we won we got a whole bag what the fuck <laughs> Aha, Lady Luck has smiled on us. We won a vicious game of war. The man wasn't too happy about it, but he delivered on his promise. Ted keeps coughing. Okay, wait, we actually got more food. <laughs> we have so much food, bro. <laughs> Please let us trade this for something, man. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Uh, you are tired, hungry, fatigued, uh, hungry, and dehydration. Okay, so you get some water. And we'll give you food. We'll definitely give everyone food that needs it. Because we're freaking swimming in soup, man. <laughs> uh, so, so, yeah, that's fine. You get everything. All right. What's the event? We were... Oh, we got something. We are about to finish our dinner. If we, if you can call it that. When we heard someone knocking on the door. It seems to be a trader who is very interested in ammunition. How about that? We don't have ammunition. And giving him the checkers board is not something he asked for. So I guess we just ignore him. <laughs> what is the point? If he wants ammunition, why would he want a checkers board? That doesn't check. If you know what I'm saying. Am I going to just skip the event? <laughs> why would the option be there? I don't get it. 
Uh, we're fine. I'm getting radio signal. You could tell the stranger was disappointed, but there, that was none of our business. If ever was a time to get used to life being disappointing, the end of the world is probably it. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We can't do anything about it. So you're thirsty. You're thirsty. You're totally fine. So Mary Jane is going to survive out there. Uh, what? Oh, we kept the map, dude. What? Wait. What did we send him with? The book, right? Today, an army broadcast interrupted our, let's just call it breakfast. Anyway, they seemed very eager to evacuate us from here, but then went over several things that needed to happen before they do it. The first item on the list is up to us. We were given geographical coordinates and need to get to there to leave a sign we're still alive. This should be easy with a map. I remember last time we needed cards for this, no? So it's it's all it's obviously very random between the different playthroughs. So we're going to use it obviously. And we also have the card still. Day 24, we're actually surviving out here. Let's go. And we didn't lose the map for that, obviously. No, Timmy! A quick glance at our map gave us all the information we required. We left the message in the bottle. Timmy should have returned by now. We need to face the work possible scenario. He might not be coming back. No, Timmy, the book wasn't enough. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. Ted's... Oh, rip and beast, Timmy. <laughs> Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave yet. Damn, dude. Timmy was an absolute killer expedition person last round. All right. Well, we're not sending Mary Jane out there because Mary is honestly like our savior here because she is like... She doesn't have anything wrong with her. So we're going to send instead... I feel like we should just keep Ted in there. Because Ted sucked ass. I only sent him on like two expeditions last time and he died one time, right? Yeah, we really need water. That would have been the greatest time to come back with a bunch of supplies, Timmy. You piece of crap. Although you are also, you are totally fine. Damn, you are both sick and tired and fatigued. So I guess we do send Mary Jane. Fuck. Yeah, he can't even go. He's too weak. Damn it. Okay, let's see what we do. So you dehydration so you need water you need food and you need water too okay this is really bad timmy you couldn't have picked a better or a worse time to fucking die man um what's that trickling sound and why is the wall so wet are we about to get flooded we don't have life no we don't have life preservers or a boat a boat wouldn't even fit inside the shelter we need to do something save the supplies we gotta save the radio but we lose this shit man Okay, um, we lose the map and we lose the cards, but we have to save the radio and we still got the axe. Luckily, that wasn't one of the options. So rest in peace map, rest in peace cards, but it is what it is. We need to have the radio to talk to people, so it is what it is. Also, you got crazy hair, Mary Jane. So the rest is going to be gone. The map is still, I mean, if you can't use this map, you're an idiot. Honestly, that should be fine. The cards are very gone, though. What the fuck? It's still there, though. It's just... Okay, you piece. The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it had done was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days, and what's that smell? All right, rip. Did she get sick just now? Wait, what? She got tired? Are you kidding me? She got tired just before she went... Oh, come on. Now she can't go! Now, wait, huh? Can she go? Sending someone out there who's fatigued seems bad. Maybe we do send Ted out there. Honestly, Ted, it's up to you. We gotta. So you're already sick. Um, we don't have a gun anymore. There's not really anything else. I'm just gonna send him with the gas mask because we don't ever really have anything else that matters. I mean, Mary Jane did insane last round or last time on Expedition. But I'm thinking just sending Ted because he's not fatigued. He is sick, but they're fatigued, which means they're probably going to lose in some kind of fight. So you don't need anything. So, Ted, you're going on a trip. You might die, but it is what it is. All right. Let's see. So we need to still just wait for everything. All right. Let's hope Ted can do a good job because we really need some fucking water right about now, man. <laughs> he will probably break the mask. God damn it. Okay, Ted. It's all up to you. You literally need to... I I didn't realize I got so lucky last round with all the expeditions being a success. I only lost, like, the very last expedition. Uh, well, 
You are fatigued, dehydrated, so you get some water. You're also hungry. Give us a good event, please. Yesterday, during sh charades, we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti-disestablishmentarianism. And it has left Dolores sure, sorely disappointed. She insists on home. She insists on home, or rather shelter schooling, Mary Jane a little. Isn't this... What was this word? Wasn't this word... Like, if you changed your Steam name to this word it would delete like your entire steam account and like corrupt it completely you should look this up i'm pretty sure that was some kind of steam bug involved with this word <laughs> is that the reference <laughs> i think I've, I've watched a youtube essay about that <laughs> like there was steam uses some kind of service for names and the service that they used for names had like a blacklist of words, which just, and this one word was like blacklisted or something. I think uh, the spiffing Brit made it, made a video about that one time. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna uh, homeschool you, sure. Why not? We all go out all the time in the world anyway. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, look it up. I'm not joking. That's actually a thing. <laughs> Oh, we got the map! Dolores does not mess around. What started out as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to a math revision, followed by a short physics course and ending on tinkering with random object in the shelter. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny the state of her shelter has improved today. We fixed the map. Let's go. Okay. Dolores is still... So everyone's still fucked, but that's good. We got the map back. Okay. You're thirsty. You are just... Okay. Everyone is tired and fatigued. God damn it. Oh my god. We're so low on water, man. <laughs> this is fucked up. Okay. A young man paid us a visit today. He told us a story of his brave twin sister who went missing while spying in a nearby bandit camp. He said that while these circumstances are far from perfect, they were in fact meaning to contact us eventually and meet us. He believes his sister was discovered and is currently held captive in that camp. He has a few men, but he could use all the help he can get. Should we help him out? Uh, seems very risky when everyone is tired and fatigued. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I think this is one of those situations where I'd rather just save the people that we have. It's like if they weren't tired and fatigued, I would do this in a heartbeat. But because we're completely fucked, there's no way we're going to be much of a help. Um... I mean, it is going to save us some more dr water, and then we can save this for one person instead. You know, we could just send Dolores out there. <laughs> Mary Jane is like our savior. Mary Jane, I mean, she did pretty insane in the expedition. I kind of like just seeing what these events do, though. <laughs> like, this is probably not the smartest choice, but I just want to see what happens when you do. Because if we don't do this, it's just going to be like, we didn't decide to do it. We'll never know what happens. Now I'll at least know what happens. And knowing is part of like it, it'll it'll satiate my morbid curiosity <laughs> ted, ted has to come back man he needs to give us water she's so dead mary jane is oh no she's not she's so much i love how everyone becomes green when they're sick <laughs> like what the hell she's fine the young man was assisted by a group of other survivors all armed but really friendly we found the girl threw her a weapon and fought off the bandits guarding the exit the siblings were happy to be reunited, but also very confused. Turns out the bandit leader is actually their father. Oh my god, crazy small world we live in. Anyway, they were really thankful and promised to contact us again soon. Please give us water, we really need it, man. When Mary Jane is tired, she becomes cranky. She should be better in a few days. Okay. Don't be thirsty. No, you are thirsty, god damn it. Uh, tired for tea. Okay, well, uh, what is this? A sleazy looking trader. We have a lot of food, so this is fine. Carrying an equally... Oh, this is how we got the cat last time, right? Paid us a visit. He offers us a simple one-time deal. For just one can of soup, we can get a bag and all his content. I'm gonna do it. Get the cat, man. We got more than enough soup anyway. I want the cat. <laughs> Let's do it. Make the deal. Get the mysterious bag. There's the cat. <laughs> Let's go. Kitty. Oh, you are... Wait, you are you are better? Wait, she recovered from her illness? As soon as the doctor... Door closed by the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching hellish sounds. 
Terrified, we backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Its collar says Sherikov. Is that its name? And Mary Jane is tired. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So you got better? We haven't done anything about her sickness, but she's not sick anymore. Wait, she got better. Let's go. Okay, you're tired and thirsty. All right, then. She can go on another expedition. We're gonna leave. We have to save the thirst for one more day. Because otherwise, we're just gonna... It's gonna be bad. So we need to get her to just survive one more day, please. When the group... Oh, here! They came back! The doctors came back! Okay. Wait, but we sent Ted out there, and Ted was sick. So now he's not gonna get healed. Which is unfortunate. So he's still gonna be sick when he comes back. That's unlucky. And the group... That took so long! Didn't it happen on, like, day four or something? Where, like, we send... We, we gave them water, and then they came back, like, 25 days later. What the hell, man? And the, this could have helped us so much if they did it earlier. When the group dressed in lab coats came over a while back asking for water, we had doubts about their identities, but no more. They came back today and gave us some injections. We don't know what it was, but we already feel so much better. And all the colors are so bright, okay? Oh, wait, it's, it, it's fine. We get a radio broadcast. Come on, Ted. You need to help us out here. We really need water. Mary Jane is rested so she can go on another expedition. Dolores was cured from her illness. That's sick. Okay. Well, not. She's it's the opposite of sick. She's better. I right, give her water and food. We have one more piece of water, man. This is fucked up. We're so screwed. It's difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. We do hope this mess will be over soon, or else we might end up in a place much worse than this cozy shelter. We really need Ted to return. Ted, please. You need to save us. No, he's still not here. God damn it. Fuck. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal and we might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Um, look at all the days. Time to ration supplies. You are thirsty? No! Fatigued. Okay, Ted, please. What? Oh, here we go. Uh, they offer a harmonica for a gun. Oh, we can get a harmonica, but we don't have a gun. We could give them the broken one. <laughs> when we heard a knock on the door this morning, we held our breath in fear, but soon heard children's voices coming from outside. We decided to open up. It turned out the voices belonged to a pair of Girl Scouts. They used to sell cookies, but they have branched out, and now they offer other items too. Smart girls. I do think a flashlight is way more useful than a checkers board in the fucking apocalypse. So I'm going to take it. We're probably going to get something where someone is like, oh, I, I could trade you 7 million water for one checkerboard. <laughs> but we're just going to go uh, with the flashlight because like on paper, at least, that seems way more useful. Uh, and then we'll have a flashlight for some expeditions. Fair exchange. Slowly getting to that achievement, I guess. Come on, Ted. Are you kidding me? The girls were very kind and their prices were more than fair, so we gladly accepted their offer. How very clever of them to keep their business alive, even after the apocalypse. We're impressed. The lores will not survive without water any longer. Mary Jane, oh no. Well, we need to give her water. This is our last piece of water, man. Ted, come back. We need you. Cherikov is still a fresh addition to our little family, so we need to keep an eye on it. And believe it or not, just today we noticed something else on its collar. It seems to be a metal plate with an address on it, and it's not far. Should we take? We have to go out there. Whatever chance we can get to take to go out there and get some supplies, we have to take. So let's do it. <laughs> oh, Ted is back. I heard a door. Ted, you're back. He brought water. The savior. He saved the run. Let's go. <laughs> Ted, you're insane. Sucks that he didn't get healed, but that's fine. We grabbed our new fluffy friend for a little stroll through the waste, only to immediately run into a couple of gentlemen dressed in trench coats, fedoras and shades. They gritted their teeth at the sight of the cat, and they said they'd be looking for it. Apparently, it belongs to their dear old nan, who loves it dearly. But we could, but before we could utter a word, they took Sherikov, thanked us, and left. The cat didn't seem to mind, so maybe it's for the best. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Let's see what we get. Who you're gonna call when the world is on fire? The fire department. We were thrilled to find the place still running. Couldn't we get an extra fire axe? That would have been so nice. We're thrilled to find the place still running. Firefighters redecorated the place and redid their outfits. Most of the walls were messily painted in black and red. And the firemen helmets now have a grim skull symbol on it. On them. 
We never thought our local firefighters had such artistic souls. So alternative. Near the garage, we found a few firefighters shooing off some giant mutated cockroaches with a fire hose. We joined in on the fun and managed to fill some bottles with water in the process. Let's go. Three bottles. A little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. Okay. So it sucks that she is... Oh, God. You're starving. You get food right away. You're just still sick, which is unfortunate. You're hungry. That's fine. You're thirsty. You're going to have to wait a day before you get something. We have to do another expedition. We got to keep doing the expeditions to, to get more supplies because we have some water now, but not enough to last like 20 days, probably. Uh, so we got to go out there. What is this? Uh, here we go. We can use the axe finally. The army isn't coming. Not yet, anyway. That... That's today's radio news. Instead, they have been broadcasting a request for all citizens. Yeah, this one. All citizens to assist them by cutting down trees in the nearby park. We don't know if some fancy general needs it for his fireplace or what, but they suggested it's either that or no evacuation. The choice is pretty obvious to us. We're going to try this this time because last time we didn't get to do this because we didn't have an axe. So let's see what happens when we do this uh, with the axe. And maybe we'll get something useful from chopping the wood. I don't know if we need firewood for anything. Uh, our axe is gone, but at least we did what they wanted. We chopped down as many trees as we could. It wasn't much, but hopefully it will make the difference they wanted. Now everyone's gonna be tired, though. The next time they would get in touch, it had better be from a tank parked on our lawn or what's left of it. Our only regret is that this wood chopping business ruined our axe. Okay, everyone is fucked up, probably. You- <laughs> every, every debuff. Sick, tired, fatigued, thirsty, and hungry. You are fatigued. You are dehydrated. So you are hungry, you get food, but nothing else for now. You need water. Uh, we've been preparing for this expedition since yesterday and feel ready to go right now. Who should be... Okay, let's see. So you are only fatigued. You're fatigued and nothing. I think we send you out there because Mary Jane was fine. I mean, she's drinking now, right? I think we send Dolores out there. Dolores has never gone on an expedition, right? I mean, maybe. What did we send her with? The gas mask, we have bug spray, right? So the gas mask, honestly, because she is not sick right now. So sending her out there with the gas mask will prevent her getting sick, hopefully. So let's do that and we'll see how that turns out. As long as we keep one person that's not sick in the base, we could use the map, uh, that, but we used the map last time and it didn't really do anything. Didn't Timmy get lost? What did Timmy have when he got lost? Oh, he had the book when he got lost. God damn it. Uh, Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. All right. You really need to get healed, man. Uh, dehydrated. You're hungry. God damn it. Stop being so damn hungry. We're running low on supplies slowly. The other day, we heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. So last time when we opened the suitcase, it made us sick. Which is like the worst thing right now, because Mary J, right? It just made us sick. That's all. But what are the chances of it of it doing that twice, though? <laughs> Probably pretty high. So if we were already all sick, that would be fine. But I mean, I guess half the team is sick. We could really use some supplies. <laughs> the chests are 100. percent I don't know if there is like we have two people. Right? Last time, I think we only had one person. Let's just see it, because nothing ventured, nothing gained. It, the worst case is that we get one more person sick, but sickness didn't really matter last time, and if there's supplies in there, it could really... Because it's not going to take away our supplies, right? That would be stupid. So Mary Jane might be sick. Received a gift achievement. Wait, the, oh, the cat is... The cat was in the suitcase? Wait, huh? We gladly accepted this sudden gift, and despite our suspicions, it turned out to be just regular tomato soup that we all know and love. Okay, we got lucky this time. Thank you, kind stranger. To our surprise, we found Sherikov back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. Is it our good care that appreciates our kind hearts, optimism, or just our stockpile of soup cans? Only time will tell. Okay, that's good. You are fine. Okay, no one needs food, finally. This has been a long time where no one needed anything. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Sherikov found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on our table, topped off. Wait, what? 
Master and the Bee fell on the table, topped off with a big meowing furball. What's this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. Before The cat might get angry if we take away the wire, so maybe it's best to leave it be. Or should we examine the wire? What, what would examining the wire do? He might get angry, but to be fair, you're, we're all fatigued, though. I don't know if there's, like, hidden values that activate like how much of a success chance you have but last time we skipped this event and we didn't do it this time we have two people so i'm just gonna do yes because i want to know what the hell happens when you get the wire it's probably gonna end up with us getting scratched but i want to see the other outcome of this event instead of doing this the same thing again okay no one got scratched up what what happened there we followed the wire outside and found a half burned out truck with two Surprised gentleman inside, surrounded by an array of blinking bulbs. What? Surrounded by an array of blinking bulbs. That's some space tech right there. Were they listening in on us? In our very own... Wait, they had a bug in our shelter? What the fuck? <laughs> Their feeble excuse about a roadside picnic didn't convince us. Even Timmy knows... Timmy is dead. Even Timmy knows you can't have picnics here. And then the car had no wheels. Okay. So it didn't do anything at all. They were just listening in on us. Uh, I guess. All right, then. So you need... You are hungry. And you are thirsty, which is unfortunate. Oh, no! We don't have the access time. When we heard a knock on the door and decided to open, our heart rate always goes up a bit. Fortunately, this time, it wasn't some bloodthirsty raiders, but the brother and sister that we befriended some time ago. Time ago. They were quite... They are quite ambitious. Together with their group, they're trying to construct a few houses. Okay, so we didn't... We used the axe on the military instead of on this one. Those are the two options. We decided to use it on the military. I'm sorry, we can't help you again. I wish we got another fire axe from the fire department. That would have been nice, but I don't think you can have two of the same item at once, so that might have prevented that from happening, but whatever. Uh, we are at least going for one win condition, which is like the military one. Uh, hopefully someone will come back with the expedition, goddammit. Uh, we apologize for not being able to help at all this time. Maybe we can find an axe soon. Yeah, if you if we can find an axe, that would be great. That seems to have developed an allergy to our furry guest. He's been coughing and sneezing all night long. We should try giving... Oh, no. Ted. God damn it. All right, you're dehydrated. That sucks. <laughs> He's allergic to cats. Oh, here we go. All hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door, and they don't seem too friendly. In fact, they've promised us a painful death at least 17 times already, and it's only been five minutes since they've arrived. We'd better prepare. They'll be forcing that door. Okay, so we have to, we have only one defense this time. God damn it. Last time we had so many weapons and the harmonica, but I guess we just padlock it and pray. <laughs> damn it. We gotta. We need to get a, a better... We need to get something, because the padlock is broken now. We didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave us the whole this whole break-in. It seems that they gave this whole break-in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad that padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other soup-hungry barbarians. Oh, God. We were able to fight off the bandits this time, but there's no guarantee they won't come back. We need to prepare ourselves at all times. This is bad. Okay. So we don't have any more defenses now, which could end in a disaster. You're hungry... You're dehydrated. The agents who were spying on us are now at the door and want to explain themselves should we hear them out. Maybe they're from the military? <laughs> I mean, we might as well. We've committed this far. Let's just hear. Maybe they want to apologize and give us some medicine. Who fucking knows? <laughs> Maybe they'll steal everything we own. I hear coughing. We didn't seem to gain anything from that. They were agents, real, life secret agents on a government mission. We saw their identity cards briefly. They weren't listening in on us. It was the cat they were interested in. They made a request too. Want they made a request too, wanting us to aid them with some of their top secret missions in the future. Wait, did we get a gun? Uh Top of secret missions in the future. If we do that, they promise they will extract us to a government safe house full of supplies and donuts. Hopefully they come back soon with more information. Okay. No, I don't think. We don't have a gun. We still, we were fucked up. Okay. This is fine. Our situation is getting worse every day. We can see the hunger and desperation in each other's eyes. We know a teacher from a local school rescued a bunch of kids when the bomb fell. 
You also know what kind of supplies are in the school shelter. As part of the community, we help stock it for an emergency. So technically they're ours, right? Should we reclaim them in our hour of need? I don't... This time, we're going to be the good guys because we have enough to just survive until Dolores comes back. It will be horrible if Dolores doesn't make it back, but we technically can fend for ourselves. So we're going to be the good guys and not... Because last time we stole from the grandmas, right? And this time I want to be good. <laughs> can we give them the cat? All right, so day 41. And we're just choosing different options, right? Just to see different things. Robbing innocent people? Absolutely not. We are not savages. We cannot stoop that low. It's important to keep our values even in these troubled times. Especially in these troubled times. Let's set, set a shiny example and leave those poor people alone. A pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they'd captured a woman whose description matched Dolores. We don't think they will let her go. Dude, what the fuck is going on? Dude, we're getting so unlucky with these expeditions. We should have stolen from the children. Fuck. We should have robbed them, man. We're screwed. We have gotten messed up twice in a row. How are we supposed to survive? God damn it. That's so annoying. All right. Well, that's unlucky. We've heard, so we have, we've heard some con commotion above. We're pretty sure it's a band of raiders. Venturing outside might be dangerous right now. I'll let, let's wait one day then. There's an armed and dangerous woman outside. Fortunately, she's out of ammo. She tells us she hunts the wild beasts of the wastes. And right now... She's on a trail of a giant mutated spider. We're pretty sure she's lost her mind. What are you going to do with that spider lady? Spider lady, put it on a leash. She promised us that if we help her, she will return the favor another day. We can't. We don't have ammunition. I'm sorry. All right. We're just going to not do anything. We got to do an expedition, though. She probably said send Ted out there because he's allergic for the cat to the cat anyway. The woman says she's mostly hunting for food. Clearly, she's an uncivilized savage. Delicious soup is what decent people eat these days. We were not amused and didn't give her anything. Okay, then. Um, You are everything. Hungry. So you get... Now we're going to go on an expedition. Because Mary Jane, because you some rest... How, fatigue lasts so fucking long, man. It's unbelievable. That's like actually like 10 days that they've been fatigued. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Just rest, man. What are you doing? Just literally sleep all day. That's all you have to do, man. <laughs> you don't have anything else to do anyway. Judging by the sound of gunfire and screams, it seems like a band. Okay, we should probably not go out. Because it's very risky right now. So I guess we'll just... God damn it. One minute. It was all fine. And the next we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip of, uh, on ourselves if we are going to survive this. Let's just sleep on it. God damn it. There's no bed, but they can sit and sleep, right? Or just lay down on the floor. There's worse things right now. Okay. She's covered in, like, blood or paint? Or probably soup. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Oh, no. They're fatigued again. Pro Wait. Are they? Oh, my God. You suck. Okay. You're dehydrated. You're hungry. Judging by the sound of... Why is everything gunfire and screams? We're not going out there because it's too risky. Maybe this... I should... I don't know if I paid attention to what this said when we send the previous person out there. Maybe it was super risky. I don't, oh, no. Bandits are at the door promising us the worst fate we can imagine if we don't let them in. Okay, wait. No. We have to go on expedition then? We're fucked. Dude, we got so insanely unlucky, bro. We're gonna get screwed. They're gonna steal all our shit. No, we don't have anything. Fuck, man. We should have gotten... I mean, we had this, this, and this at the start, but we slowly lost it. All right, well, it's been an honor. Uh, you don't need any any drink. All right, here we go. Our last meal. I don't, I don't think the expedition is gonna help us, so goodbye. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, we're still here. Oh, <laughs> they took Mary. No. The enemy stormed into our shelter, but instead of grabbing our supplies, they got Mary Jane. She put up a fight and bit. Jesus Christ, this is dark, man. We hope they don't hurt her. All right. Well, and just like that, it's just Ted remaining. We got so screwed up by RNG this time. 
All right, you're sick and fatigued. That is unfortunate. I really feel like... Wait, there's still... It's still dangerous, man. Can we get some better luck? It's been quite a while, but there was another message from the military on the radio. They want us to send one person to meet them. Sounds like some kind of precaution or a trick. We hope we know what they're getting into. I mean, we gotta do it. We have to get out of here ASAP. Are you hungry? No. All right, this might be a trap and we're gonna find out. Here we go. Military, please save us, Ted. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Okay, he's alive, that's good. We made it to the meeting. The serious looking soldier asked us a few questions, made some notes and told us they would get back to us. We can only hope we made a good impression. Too bad our Sunday best didn't make it through the explosion. Ted isn't feeling so well. Okay, well, we it could have something to do with the cat hair littering the shelter. Some pills might be a good idea. We don't have any of that. You're just sick and fatigued. Using a high-tech setup involving paper cups and yards of string, the agents rang in with wait. The agents rang in with our top next top secret mission that will surely land us in the VIP bunker very soon. They want yeah, I lo it's us we always. They want us to go on one successful expedition and write down what we saw in the journal. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? I mean, this is risky. We should probably just survive until the military comes back. We have enough food to last, but we're going to potentially die to the <laughs> to the bandits if they attack. So maybe being out there is not that bad. I'm kind of curious what this whole shit is all about <laughs> with the whole VA. This is because then at least he's gone from the cat, right? Maybe the cat will eventually kill him. All right, sure. What could go wrong? And if if we die, we'll just run it back. Worth a shot? Let's see it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, he's alive, baby. Ted left for the service. We hope he'll be back soon. He's back. We graciously, agree graciously agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised promised to be back with more information soon that recon mission was risky business we had to visit neighborhoods that were dicey even in the best of times the area was full of mutated cats and dogs fighting each other in gangs all of them armed to the teeth we barely made it out of there alive but the agents seem to appreciate our efforts let's hope these missions are actually worth it our bucket is just about due for an upgrade, and we're expecting the government shelter to have an excellent bathroom, maybe even a hot tub, okay? You were hurt, though, which is unfortunate. So you're fatigued, hurt, and sick. God damn it. Uh, can you click on things in the room? I mean... No? I can click on the lamp and make it light. Doesn't do much. Meow, meow. Damaged rifle. Maybe we can repair it. All right, there's nothing. Uh, the map is new. Yeah. Oh, wait, I can put down... Wait, you can put down an X on the map? Huh. Interesting. That's cool. There's a fly. Fly! All right, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I have to catch the fly. Is he coming back? No fly. But Get him! I got him! <laughs> Take that, Brundle. I swat it real good. I got an achievement. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we're not sending them out there. We need to survive. We need to save Ted for now. And he's also hurt. He's got every debuff under the sun. There's another fucking fly. How about we put that ready? Yeah, I mean, sure. We'll listen. Hopefully you are not hungry, right? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Dude, come on. That's interesting. Day 50, though. Come on. We were able to tune in and get rid of just enough static to listen to a very energetic and lively speaker. He seemed well informed and mentioned a few helpful tips that should make it easier for us to survive the next expedition. Let's go. Okay, but he's still suffering from everything. He is thirsty. He's fatigued, hurt, thirsty, and deceased. Not to be confused with deceased. <laughs> he's only sick, but still, that sounds that seems worse than sick. Uh oh. He is also thirsty. I think we give him water right away. Uh, we're not going out there. We can't. We don't have no. God damn it! I'm sorry. We can't help you guys. This is bad. He's it's he's gonna die, dude. 
Come on, the military needs to come. Otherwise, we're fucked. <laughs> this is such a dramatic game. I love it. We apologize for- Yeah, sorry. We can't help you. Either we get Ted Medicine or we'll never see him again. Never see him eat another cup, can of sup, soup. Hurry. No! He's fucked. Eat. All right, we got to go on an expedition. Maybe. Maybe go on an expedition to send him out there and hopefully he'll live. I don't think that's... No! The bandits are back! Dude, we got so screwed, man. That's so rude because we lost every... If we just got people to survive their fucking expeditions, that shit would... Sure, we'll give them water too. This is so rude, man. We got so screwed by the expedition RNG. Rest in peace. It's, it is what it is. The end? Excuse me? Oh my god, I've been kidnapped. What the hell? Uh, this seems bad. After a fierce fight, our shelter, our home, was stormed by heavily armed bandits. Nothing good awaits us at, as the, at their hands. Rehearsing pleas of mercy might be our only chance of ever seeing the sky again, even if it's obscured by radioactive dust. Ted, Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. What? Ted's wounds are not... A pretty sight. Excuse me? <laughs> I don't think this is accurate. Is something went wrong here? I don't know what happened. We survived for 52 days. That was actually that was worse than our previous playthrough. We also got way less lucky now. I don't know what this is about. Alright, well, 52 days though. That's still not that bad. And we had everyone this time. That seemed to really help having everyone. So let's just make sure that we save everyone again. Damn, we went so hard on that mission. Maybe we're not gonna do I think we should do the twins mission this or next time. Let's do that because I feel like I don't know. The, the military just seems to be too fucking slow. Although if we have everyone, we might be able to survive. Okay, can I get out of here? You perished. Goodbye. <laughs> Rest in peace. That looks like Ted, though. I mean, we survived 52 days. Okay, so what have we learned? We need the axe was good, useful, but we only got to use it once. The axe, the gun, the radio still. We need those three. The harmonica, we need like something else with the lock and the harmonica to survive against bandits because bandits absolutely screwed us up here. Food is honestly not that big of a deal. If we just get two or three food and have everyone, it's going to be really hard. We Maybe we need to rob the children. <laughs> anyway, we're running it back. Alrighty, well that is gonna be it for that video. That was amazing and we did so much better than I expected, especially that first run surviving for 69 days on our very first try. Nice, by the way, was absolutely awesome. And then that next run was a little bit worse, but hey, you gotta make some mistakes to learn along the way. And as you heard, we were also gonna do another run. However, I wanted to make that its own video because that run was absolutely insane. It was an emotional roller coaster, so many ups and downs, and we actually managed to win our our very first game of 60 seconds but I wanted to make that its own video so people could actually see it from the very beginning without it being at like the end of a three hour video that no one's gonna see so yeah let me know besides that if you want to see more streams of 60 seconds in the future because I would love to play more it's super fun uh, there's obviously a ton of content left to explore so many choices to make and I would love to actually get a win where literally the entire family survives and maybe see also some more of the crazy endings because there's gotta be some some wild stuff out there that you guys probably have already been yelling at me about in the comments down below so make sure to let me know if you want to see more but i really hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the live streams you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye